There we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Broken. Welcome on in. Pastel. Welcome on in. And Pastel, thank you for coming on by. I do hope you have a safe trip home. But welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome to 
October, spooky season it is here. One of our most favorite times of the year. I'm gonna do this set, yeah! <laughs> Uh, that's what was taking me a little bit. I was trying to hurry up and get things thrown together real quick. I was like, ah, oh, shoot. It's already October. I need to get my set ready. And bada bing bada boom. Look at it. We're here. We got the, the skull. Uh, I'm gonna adjust Pooh's costume. This is just a temporary costume for him, but he's dressed up as a ghost. You can see his little ear sticking out behind it, but got Pooh as a ghost. Got the little cauldron going. Got the pumpkins, the candles. I've uh, got candy, little vines everywhere. And I don't know if you can tell, but I am cosplaying as your girl Wednesday Adams with my little skull sitting in my lap. But welcome on in, everybody. I have missed you all. Uh, so, I was sick last week. Uh, it, no, it was not the Rona. No, no, no. <laughs> I first didn't know what it was, but then uh, when I got back to work, uh, one of my coworkers had the same thing, but she had way a lot more um, worse symptoms than I did, and so uh, we found out we just have a cold. So I'm better now. I feel great. I hope you guys have been feeling great. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> and let's see. The comment makes it clear. <laughs> and Sad Scorpius, welcome on in. Welcome in. Welcome in. It's Wednesday on a Saturday. It is Saturday and on a Saturday. But welcome in, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Khan, hello again. Welcome on in. Happy Saturday. Khan, how you feeling? I know that was a, a lot of work for so uh those in the chat earlier today I was um co-hosting a Splatoon tournament with Khan on his channel and it was a lot, a lot of, a lot of work. He did so much work between him and Tina. So, congrats to you for hosting your first Splatoon tournament. Many more to come later. <laughs> Looking like Wednesday. Yes, that's what I was going for. Miss Wednesday Adams. Uh, because, oh uh, yes, Broken, I realize now what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry. It took me a second to be like, what? It's not Wednesday. Duh. Because I'm Wednesday on a Saturday. <laughs> you feeling good? Did you replenish yourself? Get some food, get some water, make a big stretch. Low key, I'm not gonna lie, I took a little nap since we, we ended up not um, doing Smash tonight. Um, I took a little nap. Only because I got up early. But that has nothing to do with like actually streaming. It's just me because I got up early. <laughs> But how's everybody doing? How's everybody's uh, weekend going thus far? What has everybody been up to? What's going on? I need to know. What's the T? What's the T-L-D-R? Let me know. You know, I have to apologize for a nap. <laughs> I feel like I do sometimes. Like, oh, you didn't do anything but get up early. But I'm like... I'm tired. <laughs> like when you have to get up, when you get up early on your day off, it just seems like I don't know. Out six thirty doesn't sound like that early, but it just it felt early. So I thought you fell asleep for a second. Uh, I'm, right now? <laughs> I'm wide awake. What you mean? Uh, you said you're watching Cyberpunk Ed Edge Run Anime. Oh yeah, I heard that's out now. And I keep seeing people keep abbreviating it weird and they need to stop doing that because I don't think people realize what those abbreviations actually mean. And it's so weird. I'm like, stop, stop giving that abbreviation. That's weird. <laughs> Koala, welcome on in. Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. Love the pumpkin. How am I? I am doing well, thank you. How are you? So I was sick last week, but I'm feeling much better. Back to tip top shape. Since it is officially October, are folks gonna be dressing up 
in any type of costumes. I know if you don't have anywhere to go. That's one of my coworkers like, are you gonna wear a costume? I'm like, I don't have anywhere to go. She's like, doesn't matter. Are you gonna wear a costume? I'm like, sure. But I don't know what yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll just be Wednesday Adams. But if you have anywhere you're gonna go, or if you don't have anywhere you're gonna go, if you're gonna dress up, what are you gonna dress up as? You said feeling a little low, but here for the good vibes. Well, I'm sorry, Koala. I hope things get better for you. And I hope the vibes are good enough for you to feel a little bit of happiness right now. If I could, I would throw some of this candy at you. <laughs> but it's kind of stuck to my table. You love my VTuber after? Thank you, Koala. I'm digging the hair. It's very, very... I very I feel like it's very on point for the culture. One for the culture. <laughs> I miss your sing <gasps> Koala, you've been singing. And I missed it. You got the candy virtually? Yay! Good. <laughs> I was looking for some spooky music to play, but I was like, nah, let me play some upbeat music. That's what I'm in the mood for right now. Spooky music can be played whenever. The singing is a punishment. <laughs> I don't know, Koala. When I'm, I feel like when I have bits and pieces of you hearing you singing, you sing quite well. I bet you low-key got like bars, hidden talent that, that nobody really knows but kind of knows at the same time. The singer is our blessing, exactly, solid. So Koala's always tricked into singing and retreated. Bottom <laughs> But Solid said that he is watching some the uh, cyberpunk anime. What is else? What else has everybody else been up to today? What have we been doing? We've been chilling, running errands. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, Brooke has got the receipts. Oh snap! We need to see these receipts. What 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 was she singing? Broken. Way off. Why is that over there? What? <laughs> Passed out. Thank you for the bonk. I don't know why that's sitting way over there. You gave Pooh a bonk. <laughs> Gina, welcome on in. Happy Saturday. You came in to test it. Well, thank you. I realized some of my things got readjusted weird, so we're gonna have to fix that. That's a no-no. That needs to be fixed. Where is it? Why is it sitting over here? Well, I'll have to fix it, but <laughs> thank you for the bonk. And pass that welcome out in. Have you made it home already? <laughs> but hello, boo. Welcome in, welcome in. How you feeling after your big event today? You running all those, uh, Running around getting everybody going on the, on the tournament. That's a, that's a lot of work for you. So, again, uh, I was participating with co hosting a uh, spoon tournament with both Khan and Tina Simone. So, shout outs to them. Let me give them a little shouty shout. I don't think my shout outs and stuff are working. It's been a minute, so my stuff is all messed up. Oh, I mean, I shout out Koala too. That was not what I was trying to do, but. <laughs> there we go. Shout out. But tomorrow I will be on with Kana again. We'll be hosting um, Fall Guys and Smash Brothers tournament tomorrow. You see, I'm black to play my own games. I'm trying to beat little nightmares. Oh man, yeah, that's in a minute, huh? I thought you had finished that, honestly. Uh, you said there's so much traffic, I just want to go home. Castell, are you 
You're not messaging while you're driving, are you? Or someone else driving? I hope someone else is driving. So I tried to watch the tournament thing today, but time, but by the time I went in it, it was over. Oh, no problem, Pastel. There's always tomorrow if you want to come by tomorrow and watch too. Um, it's not going to be on my channel. It's going to be on Khan's channel. So just look out for tweets. Or um, I'll also make sure to host it on my... Well, I know that feature is going away, but I think it's still going to be able to... We'll still be able to use it until tomorrow. So I'm going to host his channel on my on my channel like I did um, today. So if you want to come by and watch, definitely keep an eye out for all that stuff. So someone else is driving out, you don't have like okay good. <laughs> I was like, you better not be messaging while you're driving, young lady. Or excuse me. Not a uh, young person. There you go. <laughs> so I don't know how I just failed the test and never took it again. Oh, pastel. Well, I mean, driving's lucky overrated. Unless, unless you really need to, like, drive to get where you need to get to. If you get away around just fine on public transportation, that's completely fine. For my job, I live too far away to take the bus every day. Like, just by car commute alone, it's almost an hour. Well, it is an hour drive. So I can't imagine getting on the bus to from where I live to my job every day. That's, that's just, that's, no. That just wouldn't happen. I never get home or get to work on time. <laughs> Do you think Twitch will come out with something to replace hosting? Um, kind of not sure. I don't really understand why they think it's such a bad, like, why they think it's not really that helpful. Uh, they're, what I read is that it was that they're saying that it wasn't helping viewers get like people to come into their chat which I don't really get because on the whole the whole point of the hosting is like you host somebody and it, it even says in there like if you would like to go actually into the chat click here and it takes you directly to that person so I, that was their like reasoning as it wasn't helping bringing people into the actual chat which I don't know it doesn't make any sense Honestly, I don't. I didn't. I didn't really understand, and I don't. They didn't say anything about bringing it back, so I think they're just taking away kind of another what you seemed like a helpful tool. I haven't heard or seen anything that they might be bringing something else to replace it, which is unfortunate. Um, one thing I did see though was that people can change like grades, like you can set like a limit to how like. One, who can raid you, and two, the number of people that they're bringing into your raid, which I thought was kind of... Like, I've been seeing both sides of that. Like, some people are like, oh, it's to try and combat, like, people getting hit with, like, hate raids. But I'm like, you're never gonna know how many people are gonna be raiding you at one time. So, like, you kind of be missing out on opportunities on people to be coming and raiding your channel with their communities and sharing each other's communities. And then, like, a lot of people are like, well, that sucks for people who are smaller. Um, streamers because I don't know I feel like there's some people saying that big streamers feel like small streamers take advantage of that but I'm like I don't think everybody's malicious like that I think they really just want to show their community the, the, some of their streamers that they really like and if you're a big streamer I feel like you should be happy regardless of how many people come and stream like raid your channel that's just another great opportunity that opens up for more people to figure out who you are or more discoverability for you I mean, sure, there might be some people who are using that as a way to try and build their own visibility, but honestly, how many people actually, when you go raid a big streamer, I don't feel like every person that's in that chat is going to be like, oh yeah, automatically, I'm going to follow every person that this person says that they give a shout out to. The shout outs are more like a courtesy thing. So I don't know. It's very strange. Uh, Tina Snow says they better replace it with something. They should. Yeah, they should. But. Who knows? Uh, Pastel says, to be honest, when I used to live, where I used to live, I used to love taking the train, but here I take the bus. It's not as pleasant. The train does sound like more fun. I've never actually really, like, we don't have a really good, I, we have a train system, but you have to be, like, in downtown to get to it. So, for me to get to downtown, I would have to commute somehow to get there. 
really yeah uh tina simone if you um you might have got an email about it or definitely check twitter it's been all over twitter too uh, you said you think you're stopping for food, you shall return. Okay, no problem, pastel. Enjoy your food. Uh, rating helps us find good It does, and it's, it's gonna be a shame if people start, like, limiting... Like, setting a, a bar for... Um, being rated. Like, you could... Like, you know, if we're making a requirement that at least 25 people have to be in your raid in order for you to be rated, you're gonna be, like, missing out on a whole bunch of people. Let's hope they don't. No, they're not gonna get rid of them, Khan. It's just they're they're making it so people can set um, a limit on on the raid. So, say I say me as a small streamer want to go raid a big streamer, if I and they set their limit to like you need to have a minimum of like twenty people before you raid my channel. Uh, most likely I probably would get not denied <laughs> raiding that person because. I wouldn't have that many people to raid with, with me to raid. It's it's you know it's, it's I don't know I don't know if people are actually doing that, but I feel like there are people who are going to do that, and that's just that's unfortunate. Since I love all raids, even the one, yeah, exactly. Like you know, I take it more as you want to share the community with people that you like, or even if you guys want to discover new people together, you know, but we'll see what happens with Twitch and there's so many things changing. I keep hearing people are trying to like leave the Twitch platform, but <laughs> honestly, and trying to go to YouTube, and but YouTube honestly isn't really set up that well for like streaming. Like they have their own things, but there's still a lot more, long way for them to go before they catch up to Twitch. <laughs> but Tina Khan, did you guys get something to eat? Have you eaten yet? And uh, everybody else in the chat too. Pastel said they were gonna go get something to eat. Broken, solid, called ko koala. Everybody, have we eaten? Have we replenished ourselves? Love my decorations, so thank you. There's a lot of great YouTuber like artists out there, so if you guys are ever curious about my decorations, I don't make everything myself. I do use decorations from other YouTubers too, and I just like to layer everything on top of each other. So if you're ever curious, I do have like a resources link in my panels that you can look at to see what where. I, it doesn't say exactly what direction, uh, what pieces from where, but that's where I put all my information. Oh hi, Sergeant. Uh oh. Ah oh, no, that's not music. That's. Random stuff. <laughs> My music stopped. All right. Well, I guess that's that's time for me to switch to the game then, huh? Hibachi. Ooh. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. So I thought we'd get back into playing some more of the Nottery game because we got one ending and now we need to go through the rest of the game to kind of figure out what because there's going to be one good ending the ending i got wasn't bad but it didn't finish so i'm assuming that's not the good ending um the last thing i remember is we were in the laboratory and um lotus was going on some type of long rant about whatever she she lost me to be honest um, but we low-key found out she is kind of like a computer whiz, so she was hacking into, into the computer, and then we... That's where I stopped. That's where I, That's all I remember. Let's see. Yes. Let's do it. I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. Make sure you know when you should thank people. And did y'all have any dessert with your after your hibachi? So okay, I've heard of hibachi. Is hibachi like the um? I I honestly don't really. I've heard of the word hibachi, but I'm I'm trying to like slipping my mind as to thinking exactly what is it. Like, is that where the chef is like sitting in front of y'all and doing the cooking thing? Is that the hibachi? Let me know, cause I don't remember. I'm drawing a blank. And let's see, I'm gonna put some music in the background. 
to play. It's gonna be really low, so that way in between games it's not. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Oh, so it is that. Okay, cool. Uh, but you ordered. So you ordered. <laughs> you ordered the chef. <laughs> Hibachi, yum. I don't think I've actually eaten at a hibachi place. I've always seen it, but never actually eaten that one. Now, I better take care of this myself. No more rely. Oh, maybe this music's too cheery. It's like too loud or too quiet. Okay. Lying on anyone else. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I was not looking at that. Uh, go back. So when we press one of the panels, the colors of the ones next to the switch, next to it switch. Okay, the music's too loud. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Looks like there's some text here. All panels green is unlock. No more than four attempts will automatically reset after failure. In other words, I have to get all the panels green in less than four tries. No! Maybe I should run over the instructions one more time. I'm dealing with the red and green panels here. When I touch one of the panels, some of the others will change color. That There's a pattern to it. I need to get all the panels to turn green. I have to do it in four turns, four touches. It automatically resets if it goes higher than that. Alright, let's give this another shot. Uh, so I can only touch it four times. <laughs> and I have to turn all the panels green. So... Mm, okay, I see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna mess it up already. Can I reset? Now This is gonna mess this up See I thought I was being smart. Maybe not <laughs> So let's do When I touch this one this it changes this one color this one. So let's do this one first that Oh, That was dumb. That's the same thing. Never mind. We do that, that's gonna change that color. Nope. What about this one? Um, that was a close kind of guess. That was kind of close, so if I would have. Nope, put the back. If I do that, this one's gonna touch this one, this one's gonna touch this one. Ah, um, if I do this one, it's gonna touch these two. And if I do this one, it's gonna mess with that one. What the heck? So if I turn this one off. No. See, how do you do this without... Okay, back it up, back it up. There's gotta be something else I'm looking here. So let me back out of this. There's gotta be... Some type of hint that I need to look at. Calculator! Nope. Escape to three. Digital roots. Okay, this is the no. Okay, maybe th maybe this is more effective. Okay, yeah, yeah, this might be it. So, bottom right. Get turn this off. Bottom right, top right, bottom uh, top left and middle. That's probably the answer. It's like I know. I felt like we had a clue that was gonna help us with this. So one, two, three, four. Hey! Hey, turn up. Okay, all right. I solved it. Did you hear a noise just now? Yeah, I did. It sounded like something unlocking. Where did it come from? Girl? Oh, uh, I guess maybe not what I thought it was gonna be. Look, Junpei, the lights on the lockers are green. Then we must have unlocked it with the computer puzzles. 
What's the name of this game? It is called the Nonary Game. Also known as Nine Doors, Nine Persons, Nine Hours. It is on Steam if you want to get it. You can get it as a bundle too. Um, it originally came out on the DS, I think. So this is the crazy thing, like, this game has several different endings. I could not imagine having to go, so at least on Steam, you can use a little flow chart and like skip through things and go back. But on like the DS, you have to play the whole thing over all the way from the beginning again. And I'm like, how did anybody sit through and play this whole game if you have to do that every time? What did I just pick up? I didn't pay attention to what I picked up, nothing. There's no more than one key in here. This one is small. Looks like it goes into some sort of machine. It has the earth symbol on it. I think the earth symbol matches the key holding the door on the A deck. Well, if that's the case, we probably don't need the earth key right now. Alright then. Earth key. It's a mystery with puzzles. And yeah, exactly. So, the story is that um, there's nine of us stuck on this gigantic boat. Um, we were somehow kidna kidnapped from our homes. Essentially, these are all strangers, but some of us know each other. Like, um, the main character, which is which is who I'm playing, um, has like a childhood friend that's on the boat. Um, there's a brother and sister that's on the boat as well. I don't know if the other, uh, I don't recall the other um, people on the boat. Like, if they know each other or not, or maybe they have don't remember. But somehow we were kidnapped. And forced on this boat and we were told that we have nine hours to, to figure out um, how to get through these different nine different doors to get off the boat and if you don't get off then um, then we drown because the boat's gonna sink and if you break the rules like because you have these special little watches that you have to use to get through the doors if you try to take that off or if you don't follow proper like rules there's a bomb that's been placed in there on our bodies and we will spontaneously combust. <laughs> so it's 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 a brain teaser and it really it really does there's a lot of a lot of math in here. So if you if you really want to work your brain out a lot and try to figure out the mystery behind the bolt, I definitely recommend it. So, uh, I'll just tuck you away deep in my pocket. Now it's for the other key. What is this? Oh. oh. Hey, Junpei. Do you have a minute? What's up? I, um, I wanted to ask you something. Ask me what? And he said, I've been looking for a game like that, so I'll look into it somewhere. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, there's more to these games, too. There's like... Uh, I think there's at least three. I don't know what the other two were about, but, um... It comes in a bundle of three, I think, for the games. Hmm? Junpei, you went into door five with my brother, right? Yeah. Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? Nope. Huh? Well, let me think. Sorry, Clover. I can't really think of anything. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but if you don't mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if, uh, is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born? Oh, he's trying to, so, for premise, um... Koala, Snake. So they're all using code names. The only reason why we're using... People are calling us by our actual name is because our childhood friend messed up and called us our actual name. So... That's why they're using our name. But everybody else has code names. We don't actually know everybody else's names. So Snake is the person who wears watch number two. And um, that's her older brother. <laughs> Not the government name. I know. Like, how's she gonna slip up and be like, girl, we don't know these people. You don't use my government name like that? So she messed up. Uh, but her brother's um, code name is Snake. He's um, watch number two, and he's blind. 
So that's why he's, what he's asking is, was he born blind? And um, somehow we got separated from her brother. Um, and we don't know where he went. You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. No, he wasn't born blind. When he was a kid, he got in an accident. A really bad car accident. Jeez. He couldn't see after that. And his arm. What about his arm? His arm? Yeah. My brother's left arm is... Um... It's not like a normal person's arm. Well, what's a... What does that mean? It's fake. It's not a real arm. Oh, he has a prosthetic arm. Huh. From the accident? The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they... They had to cut off his arm. Jeez. Oh. Uh, is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm I, I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. Hold on. She said that's all you wanted to ask me, but you're the one who asked me to come over there to ask. You were going to ask me a question, so what's your question? It's not that. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> she didn't answer her question. Like, am I... Missing something here? She called me over there, did she not? Anyway, uh, this is getting intense. It is, Con. Uh, what is this key to? What do we... This thing, right? This key. The shape sure makes it seem like it goes to this machine. She did. Okay, I'm not crazy. I feel like she asked me the question first, but she didn't ask her question. Okay, the monitor is on now. And it's full of letters. It's showing some kind of warning. Power restored to experimental device. Emergency system will activate in the event of an abnormal subject behavior. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? Does that mean Clover's about to be attacked by whatever the little mannequin is in the experimental room? There's something sticking out of this mannequin's head, like wires or something. What the heck were they doing in there? Huh? Why is she all quiet now? They were doing experiments on humans. Probably. Oh man, she looks sad. Okay, well, that turned on something, but it didn't really help anything. Type on this keyboard isn't doing squat. Can we click anything else? The only thing about the room that's changed is the lever is down now. Not very impressive. Uh, can we open anything else? I guess that's, that's it. The time, what time is it? 1.26? I stand for various pieces of equipment, some of them uh, did I get that in the mail? Yes, so I had that sent to um, a P.O. box that's not close to me, so I have to go get it, but I did get it. <laughs> um, I have I had it sent to a family member's P.O. box because I don't have one. So I will go and get it, but thank you, I did get it. They let me know that I got it. Um, I stand for various pieces of equipment. Looks like this door is the exit. The door on the right is just, it just goes to the laboratory. Hope this door isn't going anywhere. No dice, it won't open. I mean, that's about as much as I expected. I don't think Zero would let us out of the room quite that easily. So, what do we need to do? Clover? Junpei, thank you so much for everything. Whoa, what's all this about? And, and also, I'm sorry I messed up. <laughs> Can we talk about this when we get you out, okay? Just hang on, Clover. I'm gonna get you out of there right away. Yay! I think this is the first time I've actually seen a genuine smile on this chick. Okay, I'm not sure what we... We unlocked one thing. But this power is restored to experimental device. 
What does that mean? Does this computer do anything? We don't need that anymore. Scribblings on the table. That was a clue. Junpei! This is this thing in here is on now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's because we activated the power on the, on this side. Could you pull like play with it a little? Okay. Yeah, I'll turn this dial here. Turn, turn, turn. Um, I don't think it's working. Nothing happened. Well, maybe she missed something. I should ask her to look around the room again. Uh, why don't we just ask her then? She's not gonna look. It's a rack. There's some cables on top of top of the copper wire exposed. I feel like this thing is gonna come to life. Um, this is the monitor. There are a whole lot of cables under this table. The mannequin lie on the exam table. I can't really see it very well from here, but it looks like there's a bunch of electrodes sticking on its head. Clover, get to work. He said that we need to ask her to do something, but do what? Maybe if you increase the voltage? Roger, will do. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to max voltage. M max voltage? Hey! Wait, Clover! Aw, oh, crap. Uh, what? Uh, I think, uh... It's gonna wake up! Or catch on fire? <laughs> oh my god! The, the mannequin's head! Oh man, that sounds like a fire alarm. Can we not see this fire right now? God, what the heck? Fire detected. Fire detected. The emergency system will be activated. Evacuate the room immediately. Yikes, exactly. Uh, can we leave? But old girl can't leave. Junpei, look at the light. Yes, it's green. The emergency system has activated and disabled the lock. Now we can save Clover. Girl, get out here. Junpei! Come on, kid, jump. She say jump where? What does she need to jump for? Oh man, this smoke is some serious business. Time to close this door again, I think. He said, oh wow, that, that alarm creepy. <laughs> you mean my alarm voice, Con? It was creepy. Clover, are you okay? Are you hurt? She's coughing so hard, she can't even talk. Uh, uh, <coughs> of course I'm not alright! What the heck took you so long, you big jerk? I was almost dead! <coughs> Sorry, I was going as fast as I could. You two can do this later. Right now, we need to get the heck out of here. The fire's not going to stay in this room forever. Yep, time to dip. I really wanted to know though, like he said jump, but what is she jumping up to? Those stairs. Whew, thank God we got out of there. Yeah, finally. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, let's go. Okay. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! What? Huh? Oh, we're back with the group. June? Santa! Seven! Hey, what are you guys doing here? What do you mean what are we doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Hey, on the wall. It's another the map. map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor then? These maps are really honestly blurry and don't seem that helpful. Door seven and door eight. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. I think we went through door eight this time. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door nine. Exactly. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. 
Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. That's how the notary game works. Wait a sec. This leads to... The hospital. Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. The key, right? Or on the map. I'm gonna... Oh, I cut him off. Oops, sorry. Open up the safe. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. Okay, so now that we're back, oops, does that mean? Okay, yeah, so now we're back at a spot where we can split again. So this is what I was talking about in terms of the flow chart thing. Once you go through different um, options. So what is this? What is this? I don't want to go here. I just want to see what door number one. Okay. Go back. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory. Sure did. And then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. Mm -hmm. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. So basically what he's talking about is he kind of like quote unquote sacrificed himself because he thought in order to move forward, um, well actually in order to move forward someone had to be left behind. And so he was like, all right, I'll be the one to stay behind and you guys can come back for me. But the way he played it off is like, as if no one was ever gonna be able to come back for him because we only have so much time to get out and uh, there won't be enough time to go back. So it may seem like we weren't gonna see Ace again, but here he is. I didn't think it would happen so soon though. Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead. So I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ace in the house. <laughs> Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Here. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. Jeez. I see. So this is Jupiter. And we have the Earth key? I'm gonna let you hold on to that, all right? Yeah, on it. Well, I've got something for you too then. Here, it's the Saturn key card. We found it in the kitchen. Oh, I thought we had the Earth key. Maybe I not. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Yeah, on it. So how many unused keys do we have now? Yeah, There's we do. The Earth key okay. we found in the laboratory. We have three. The Jupiter key you just gave me. Um, it's not a number con. It's a symbol for um, Jupiter. And the Saturn key card from Lotus. I'll keep them safe. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. So it does look like, like now that you said that, it does look like a number 21. Um, I'm not too familiar with like the, like the, the planet symbols, but all the keys that we're getting are like Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, like all the all the different symbols of the planets. Then next to the stairs. Wait. What about door three? What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. I'm the one named Sailor Moon. <laughs> At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. <laughs> Very well. I'll Loki, you could. Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mars. I've had a nice long rest. Sailor Mercury. I think it's time I was up and about again. So Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Help me? you put. Damn. 
Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. So we've seen this scene so already. With you, huh? But we have to go through it, I guess, again, just to get to yes, the options. You are. All right. They're gonna go moving. see what's behind door three, essentially. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. Off we go into the wild. So the guy with the scars on All his right, face we is should an get interesting character. Uh, Seven? So, the thing about Seven is he said that he has amnesia right now. He can't quite remember all what's happened prior to him getting here. Huh? Get moving. Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Wait a minute. Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're going to see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Did we not go in there with, with the rest of the crew? Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the oh, Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei, open it if you please. Yeah, on it. Is this the, this is the main hall. Great, back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Um, so last time I chose, of course there's a reason, now I have to choose, no idea. You know, that's a good question. I can't believe this. You guys followed me here, but you don't even know why? Uh. <laughs> Jinpei, you've got the solar system keys, don't you? Yeah. I don't know if that really changes our outcome by choosing these different answers, but... The Saturn key card. And the Earth key. What about him? Don't you remember the elevator? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? Yep. And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on A Deck, on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it. So the two keys that Jumpy has, should let us use the elevator and the door on A-deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. So I guess that doesn't really change anything? What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn. All right. Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these. Hold on, let me check my flow chart. So I'm still sitting in here. I'm trying to get to the point where I can split off to choose one of these answers. So don't go too far. Just search for 10 minutes and come back. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Okay, so we don't need to do all this part again. Let's fast forward to here so that it will give me the options for the doors again. Go. Hello? Go. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, oh, right. but so, everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? I fast forward so that we can get to the point where we're choosing the doors again. So at this point, everybody's back. We've all met back up again, and we're trying to decide what door to go through. So everybody wrote down what door they want. They chose on a piece of paper. Yes, just like you told us earlier. Can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, Ace. No, we don't have time for that. <laughs> Sorry, let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. He's so sassy. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. 
Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the elephant man. That's not necessary. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But, uh... Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. Um, and Khan, I also believe his... What he used to do before um, being kidnapped and trapped on his boat, I think he used to work on like those as like a fishery, like those guys who go actually on boats and go catch fish. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. I'm not calling her a raisin. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, not good. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! Junpei, read the rest. Uh, right. So y'all not gonna separate them? <laughs> June wants door six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. Raisins are delicious, broken. <laughs> so this was everyone's vote. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's like a man-made thing, but have y'all ever tried like cran strawberries? Delicious. Where where did they come Ace from? I don't know. But they're delicious. One. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. You have? Yeah, they're so, uh, the so good. Is... I'm like, who made these? Who's whoever? Give this person lots of money. Whoever made these, they're so good. Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through. Okay, so we've chosen door. All right, what do y'all think? Should we do door two or door number six? Door number two or door number six? You need to try that. Yeah, definitely koala. If you can get your hands on some, uh, try them. They you, you won't regret it. They're delicious. Most delicious like dried fruit creation I've ever had before. <laughs> They're an abomination and I want more. You know, like I used to get them at Winko. I don't know if you guys have a Winko where you live, but like Winko's just like um I don't know, it's like a it's a grocery store that but each it's a franchise but also individually owned and the last time i've been into winko i haven't actually seen them so i'm like did someone get rid of them and they're no longer selling them because that makes me really sad because they're so good mm -mm -mm -mm. what are y'all feeling should we go in door two or number six it doesn't really matter because it, it's going to take us through a different path we just can't choose door number one Number two or number six? Number two? Number two it is. We got some twos, twos, two twos all around. Number two, my lord. <laughs> Does anybody know about six for Halloween? <laughs> or broken, it looks like you're, you're, uh, you have been outvoted, so. Six, we'll do six another time, but two is gonna be the answer for today. My choice? Is door two. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? What? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. Why does that really matter? How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. I'm used to it, but I'm broken. You're you're killing it with the the puns. Let today. me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready. Yeah, we cheated. And I put the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. Which I honestly don't understand why this is such a part of the decision because all right it doesn't matter <laughs> so we know who's going through door two that'd be me lotus and junpei the only problem is the other two teams june and i want door six clover and i choose door one y'all have to go That's together not good we can't open either of those doors with only two people so mm -hmm. make ah. it work hmm 
Why don't Santa and June go into door one with Ace? Huh? Well, then what will you do, Clover? Stay I'll here. Be waiting at the stairs. You guys are coming back here, right? That's what Seven was saying, wasn't it? We are going to be split up permanently till we find door nine. We might get we might separated, separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. That's how the notary game works. Like you know. I'm sorry, but I just want to be by myself for a while. You understand, right? Uh. Uh. All right. I'm going through door one. That all right with you, June? Yes. Well, we'll be going then. Can't get to getting then. I'm trying to get to my door. Let's move too. Yeah. Right. Let's go. So I'm not gonna lie. When I first played, I won't see June for a while. The game. I didn't trust Lotus. I don't know if I still trust her. This was my choice. I'm just going to have to suck it up. Seven said we'd all see each other again, and I'm going to believe that. The other group went to A deck to go through door one. This is a giant. Clover joined them. Our group is on our way too. We're heading to the bottom deck using the elevators. Okay. I wonder what we'll find down there. We Door ready? number two. Yeah, anytime. I'll go first. Let's go. Let's get it. So, as you see, Koala, we have to put our hands on the little door activator to go through the door, and then you only have, like, I think 60 seconds to find the door that will stop the detonator, and if you don't, then the bombs go off. I don't see it! Oh, there it is! It's right there! Stopped. I think what would have been kind of a cool aspect of this game is, is if you actually had to do that yourself. Like, they open the door for you and they're like, find your way out. And you have to like frantically search the room and like actually look for it yourself where, as, versus a cutscene. But <sighs> that's just my yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Man, I'll never get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> Damn right. All right. This hallway's pretty short, but it's got five doors. Three on the left, and only one on the right. Don't forget the last one at the end of the hall. Okay. Uh, but it's got a metal plate over it, so I doubt we're going to get anywhere that way. All right, let's get started. I think we'd probably better split up. Aren't you okay with that? Yes, no problem. Sure thing. Then I'll take this first one. <laughs> I'll try the one next to it. All right. Oh, I guess I'd better get started too. So where are we? Did I say emergence? So we've been in a laboratory. We've been in um, what seemed like a human anatomy kind of lab thing. We've been in a chemical room. We've been in first class. Okay, can I get oh. off this camera? Uh, what doors did they go into? Can I go into this one? There are a bunch of tiles on this door to spell emergence. Lotus, what are you doing over here? You're supposed to be searching in your room. Get away from me. Emergence. Maybe it means we need to merge out of here. So we need to figure out a clue first before we can go in there. What's in here? Uh oh! This is like a prison cell. The heck? I can just barely see a mirror from the lights coming through the ceiling. Sure would be nice if the mirror was a little bit lower down. It looks like the same height as the mirror on the right. I wonder if that means anything. Yeah, it's like a form of like... Dehumanizing and torture and they don't want you to actually see yourself. The mirror seems really high. In fact, it's so high that it's kind of hard to see your reflection in it. Sink, but there's no light shining on it. It's hard to be sure because it's so dark in here, but I don't think there's anything going on with the sink. The faucet is too hard to turn. Look at this crusty bed. It's a blanket. Not really a great one, but still. 
The light's barely enough to see by, but I feel like I'm gonna see a ghost in here or something. Uh, toilet paper? What's the deal with this light in here? There's just one beam of light. The rest of the place is too dark. I can't see anything. There's no way we can explore the rest of this room. Gina! Welcome on in! Happy Saturday! I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Love the Halloween over it. Thank you! And I hope you're enjoying my Wednesday cosplay. <laughs> and welcome on in. How are you doing? How's your Saturday? How's your week been? Ugh. No matter how hard I pull on this thing, it won't budge. Uh, I guess I won't be opening it anytime soon. It doesn't look like it's got a keyhole and there's... doesn't seem to be anything stopping it. Hot man? Wait, what does that mean? How do I open this? What does hot man mean? <laughs> uh, another jail cell. Oh. That's the avatar from uh, the last animator. Okay. I was like, what am I missing? What does that mean? <laughs> it's a party. It's a party. Everybody's up in here. Turn up, turn up. Uh, somebody made some wavy blue lines in this mirror with blue paint. Is that a drawing of a blue scarf? No. Maybe not. Nisi Adams, sure am. At your service. <laughs> you said you're feeling better? Oh no, Jada, were you sick? Thank you so much for the biddies. You didn't have to do that. And thank you, Jaden, for the snacky snack redeem. Today's snacky snack are actually some corn nuts. Can you hear that rustling, smussling? These are pretty crunchy, so you might be hearing a good crunch. Here we go. Oh. Thank you, Jada. So there's no knob on this faucet. There's no way we can get out of the water like this. But Jada, what have you been up to today? How's your Saturday been? If we can find a knob or something that will work as one, they should be able to get water to come out of this thing. It is very crunchy. Mm. Do y'all like corn nuts? That's what that's what this this snack is. <laughs> so we need a faucet. Oh. Work today and Coco got a bath. Ah, oh, you have to work on Saturdays? That's unfortunate. I thought you were off on Saturdays. Well, hopefully it wasn't too crazy. Corn nuts! I haven't seen them in a while. <laughs> you love corn nuts? Koala, what's your favorite flavor of corn nuts? He looks like a thick, fluffy boy. Aww. Coco. Is it a moon? The nacho one? What? There's nacho flavored corn nuts? The only kind I've ever actually seen are the, the ranch, the barbecue, that like chili limon one, and like plain. I've never seen nacho. What? He just cries and audibly purrs, then cries again. Aww, Coco. So I've never had any of those um, other... I've never had any other than the regular. Yeah, pics of fluffy Coco. Maybe because I was in the hood. <laughs> but I'm like, what? I've never actually seen that before. I'm about to, I'm about to do some some searching around, see. Not that I would eat them, but like just to see what they look like. Poor Coco. 
I know it's time for to give us Arcadia back to and he like screams in the bathtub but then he like stops for a second and he'll go out screaming <laughs> it's kind of funny but it's like they know they can't they can't really do anything about it so they just kind of have to, like suck it up and then they, then they kind of do that random spritz of well hope maybe if I scream loud enough you'll like stop but then they realize that you're not gonna stop and just, they get quiet <laughs> I said a moon what a filthy disgusting moon yeah it's pretty filthy but it's a precious hint why is it precious let's remember it all right what is precious about finding a moon on a dirty toilet seat I refuse to touch this I refuse what the heck's wrong with you I don't want to touch it ever okay Lotus dang so I feel like if I ate a uh, corn that's now my teeth will fall out oh no koala I know Loki I, I get a little scared sometimes chewing them so I'm like let me just you know get a little a little damp first before I take a crunch out of it or take a bite out of it Cause they are pretty hard um, it's just hanging from the wall well, if we're pulling the string, it must be a toilet that flushes. Are we gonna pull it? We gotta grind them up and snore a koala! <laughs> is, that, is that what you low-key be doing? What's going on here? <laughs> what you trying to say? I know, you're kidding. You kid. Uh, so this paper seems... Pretty old. Ew. How the heck can you touch that? It's... It's horrible. Well, it's not like I really got a choice, do I? It's not like I want to. You do have a choice. You don't have to touch it. It's toilet paper. I know you're a kid, <laughs> Koala. I'm just messing with you. So this looks like, a, looks like a chair for prisoners. It's rusty, but... I don't think it's gonna be a lot of help. Isn't that obvious? He's not cooperating for a picture. He's like, no, no photos. You got, you gave me a bath. No. <laughs> Lotus is not having it. Lotus, can you like get out the way? You're not really helping me. Does she really not want to be in this room that bad? Get out then. I don't need you to help me. There's nothing in this drawer. Yeah, something's not right though. The handle on the door doesn't really fit, you know, it's just looks messy. This is the handle for the faucet. Why don't you take it out? Take the handle off. I need this. Oh, what's this? I keep wanting to treat this like ace attorney, because like on ace attorney you can like like click on things, but I forget you have to click this to look at it. So there's a mirror on the other side of this drawer. Interesting. You finally you got one? And you're gonna share in a Discord? Okay, I'll take make sure to look at it. Cute little Coco. <laughs> it's kind of an odd shape. It looks like someone attached the handle with a screw after the fact. So are you telling me I can't take this off? Uh Lurk, thanks so much for the lurk, Tina Simone. So we can't do anything with that. So we need to get that handle off. There must be a screwdriver or something somewhere. Well, we took the drawer out, but nothing happened. Of course, there's no way you could hide a puzzle in something that small. Yeah, I know, still. Hmm. He looks more fat than Stunk. Ow. Oh. Still seems like they might try to, huh? What's that? It looks like there's something... Huh? Looks like there's something in there. Then where? Are you telling me I need a flashlight? Flashlight. What's on the bed? A towel? A crusty, dusty towel. Well, look. It's, well, it looks like it's a towel. I have no wonder if the design means anything, though. Maybe you should consider what the design might be. Perhaps that will give us a hint? 
It's the same crusty, dusty. Oops, go back. That's supposed to be a towel. It looks like a mat. What kind of design is on the towel? Uh, flowing water? Question mark. Honestly, it doesn't look like a towel. It looks like a really dirty rug. Like no towel should be this stiff. That bed looks cold. Pretty sure you'd freeze to death in the winter. No kidding. If I tried to sleep here, my skin would dry out in no time. Well, it's not like you're going... You're that young anymore. Dang, bird. It shouldn't really matter. <laughs> my, my, Junpei. Aren't you lucky? Seems like you'll die before you have a chance to grow old and hideous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're right. Dry skin is a woman's worst enemy. Um, not just women. Men need to make sure they moisturize too. With them ashy ankles and knees and elbows and feet. It's not just women. So there's another symbol on this mirror too. So there's a spring at the bottom of the river. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Are you talking about the towel you, you got? Yeah, I guess it does look like it's the thing on the mirror. Yeah, the spring of the towel has to be indicating the picture on this mirror. And the mirror is indicating the sink, right? But the picture looks like the spring with the water and the sink's all dried out. What? Okay. Hmm, looks like the water doesn't work. Stiff towel? Ugh! <laughs> I know. Gross. Ew. It's crusty and dusty. Doesn't matter how much seven turns that thing, the water's coming out. Has the water been shut off somewhere else? There's a little tile in the drain. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to pull it out there. Might have to use our heads on this one. Alright, let's figure this out. So... We need something to pull the tile out. That's not helpful. Is there anything in this toilet? Can I come to this toilet? There's a sun... A symbol on the toilet. Lid. Huh. Seems a little fishy to me. It's a sun symbol, but... It doesn't look like the ones on the doors. This toilet's pretty nasty to begin with, but the inside's even worse. Honestly, I'm amazed you could bring yourself to touch it. Ha! Huh. There's... Way nastier stuff out there in the world than a gross toilet. You're a real deep thinker, aren't you? So, he touched it. There's no toilet paper! Toilet paper tube, huh? Toilet paper tube? I seriously doubt I'm gonna need this for anything. But I took it anyway? What did I do with it? Well, this part is thinner than the rest. In fact, this doesn't really look like it's part of the rest of the thing. This rod feels loose. Maybe if I give it a couple turns. Here we go. Aha! This is what we needed to get this. Combine. With that. Go. What? Why not? Why doesn't that work? Do I have to look at it first? Hey, this is a screwdriver shaft. It's missing a hand. Really? I need a handle first to use a screwdriver shaft? I can't just use this part? Really? Even if we run into a screw, it fits. We're gonna have to have a hard time of it without a handle. Well, if we can find a handle, maybe it'll do us some good. You really oh. tell me that in a dire situation, you go out of your way to find a handle for a screwdriver. When you have the part that does the screw in. That makes no sense. Hey, this handle's pretty loose. Loose? I think it'll come off if you pull it. Oh, there's our handle. It fell off. Huh. Look at this. The handle doesn't really fit on the string. Maybe it wasn't meant to be attached. There we go. Now we have our screwdriver. So if I just stick this metal rod into the handle... That's a long screwdriver. Okay, let's combine it with this. Go. If I use the screwdriver on the screw in the center of the handle, maybe I can... 
But we're still gonna need this mirror for something else. Cool. Hey, did you break it, Junpei? No, dude. Seems like... Seems kind of weird to have a handle on a wooden drawer like this. This handle? It looks like it should be a handle for a faucet. But the faucet already has a handle. Maybe it goes somewhere else? Oh, yes, that's what I was getting at. What's in this bed, though? The dirty blanket on the bed. Man, this is a mess. It's not even a bed anymore. Can't say I'd want to sleep there. Alright, well, we got everything we need out of here, kind of. Huh? What the heck? It's not nobody. There's something up with this drawer. I don't trust it. Oh, I need to unscrew it. Cool. Where my screwdriver at? Bow. Sweet. Get the screws off. Now we can open the drawer. Something gonna pop out at me though. There's nothing in here. What? Well, maybe the maybe the drawer is what we need. The drawer. Huh. All right. Let's yank the thing out. But why do we need the drawer? No, nope, go back. I want to look at that. What the heck do we need this drawer for? What is this? There's a bump on the back. I wonder what it's for. Hmm, maybe there's a hole somewhere and these bumps are line up with it. And trigger a hidden switch or something. Hey, we seem weirder stuff. Doesn't that seem far fetched? Nope. Oh. Anything is possible in this game. Alright, let's go out of here and go back in here. This is where we need the faucet handle. Oops. Brick, 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 brick. Sweet, the handle I got off that drawer fits on this faucet perfectly. Now I can turn the water on. Is there water gonna come out? Junpei, what are you doing? Isn't it pretty obvious? I'm running the water. I can see that. I'm asking you why you're just letting it run like that. Think about it, Lotus. This faucet didn't have a knob when we found it, right? What do you mean? Just watch. Anytime now. Hey! The water's filling up! Doesn't that mean the pipes are gonna- are clogged? Oops, uh, let's turn it off. So, did anything change? The water stopped flowing. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. <sighs> Junpei, I'm leaving this one to you, alright? Now what? The sink is totally full of water. So... What does that mean, though? Do I put this crusty, dusty towel in here? A couple of lines in the mirror in the sink. Um... It's not letting me put any items in there. with the handle. Do I need to... Oh. sink is totally filled with water. So this drawer doesn't work. Does the towel work? The sink is totally filled with water. No. So there's something else I'm missing. Let's go back into room three. Oh, I don't have any lights. Oh, wait! Uh, is it this drawer? How do I... Aha! Oh yeah, we can probably just use this mirror to reflect the light. Now I just gotta figure out where to reflect the light. Maybe if I, if I go somewhere that's a little easier to shine the light on. Here? So if I shine the light on this mirror in the back... Oh! I get it! If I shine the light on the mirror, symbols appear. The left side has a sun and the right has a moon symbol. I'm gonna remember this. Four seven. Hold on. Let's. The one thing I learned about this game, you gotta write down the clues. Hit. Let me get my paper. My paper. I need my papers. So there's a four and a seven, and we already seen the moon symbol. And the sun symbol. So let's see. 
four, seven. Is that a number? So if I shine the light on this mirror, then I get to see some numbers. I see a four on the left and a seven on the right. Four and seven. The left has the so left has the sun and the right has the moon. <clears throat> okay, is that anything else with that? The light's barely enough to see. I feel like I'm gonna see a ghost or something here, so I can't reflect the light there. This faucet doesn't turn on anything. Oh. How do I... I can see a partition over there. It seems pretty pointless to bother examining it. Is there a way for me to... to... What the heck? 14 equals E. What does that mean? 40, 47. Yeah, I'm not sure what the, what these numbers mean quite yet, Koala. What is this? 14 equals E? Probably means a 14 somewhere represents an E, but I don't know what that means. Toilet paper. It's still white enough for me to know what it is even in the dark. There's nothing out of the ordinary about it, though. I can just barely make out the string for the toilet, but I can get a hold of it. Dang! Kind of ticks me off that I can't see it, but I can touch it. How can you not see it? It's not that dark in here. It's like a dirty toilet, but it's too dark to tell. So it's telling me that I can't bounce this light off. Hmm. Uh, oh, no, I wanted to actually see if I could bounce the light off again. But I guess not. A drawer that doesn't open. Do I have anything else to make it open? No, I don't. Hmm. And we have a sink with water in it that we don't know what to do with it yet. And... Oh, this sink's full of water now. Oh! So we've got this tile. And it's got those red, blue, and gray lines. What the heck does this stuff mean? Heck if I know. Uh, I see the 14. You're gonna be lurking? Thank you so much for the lurking, lurk koala. Thank you for coming on. Bye. Hope you have a good rest of your evening. Uh, so we, I see the 14. There's an X. And... I'm not sure what this other thing is. Oh no, my computer. My tablet, the day. I forgot to plug it in. So let's go take this. Uh, what the? <sighs> the heck? Hey, what's going on? Are you? <sighs> you're sweating like crazy. Are, are you all right? Uh. Uh. Yeah, I'm fine. Seven? Just got a little dizzy. That's all. That's definitely more than just a little dizzy. Yeah. Are you sure? You don't look so good. <clears throat> what am... What am I doing here? I don't know. Huh? What are you talking about? We opened the number two door and walked in here. Don't tell me you forgot. No, no, no. That's... That's not what I mean. This is amnesia, like... It ain't much, but... I think some of my memories came back. I, uh... I... I... You lit. I think I've been here before. 
They said, I want to say thank you for streaming consistently. I'm glad I can still catch your streams. Oh, Jada, thank you. I've, I've been a little off, but I'm trying to get back to getting on it. But thank you for always coming in when you can and hanging out. I know it's always late for y'all when you come, come and watch my streams. His teeth. <laughs> uh. Uh. Huh? I said I've been in this room before. You were here? When? Aoi. Oh. Why, Nona? What the hell was that? Sid, I feel bad because I can't stream as much but right now, but as soon as I move, I'll be back. So are you... Not to be all up in your, in your business, but are you looking for somewhere else to live by yourself? Or are you going to move back to... Uh, Back to New York? It's... It's right there. I feel like I'm this close to remembering everything, but I just can't. That's right, an experiment. Oh? There was some kind of experiment going on on this ship. Uh-oh. An experiment? What, what What sort of experiment? So now my doctors are here, along with friends and fans. So okay, that's good then. They were, that, they were trying to control people. I know it's pretty stressful and expensive to move from state to state anyway, so... If you don't have to go that far, then you don't. And that's good. Or... or something like that. But you're moving soon, hopefully. Ooh. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know how, like, expensive uh, apartments are in Atlanta, but... Are they like cheaper than New York or are they more or kind of like the same kind of pricing? Aoi, Light, and Nona. Those were their names. Well, some of them. The kids that were in the experiment, I mean. I think there were four or five more. But I don't remember all their names. Rent is crazy there too. Oh God. man. Yeah, that's right. That's why I'm here. Not hot tub streams. <laughs> well, it's because you're you're living in a, in a major city, right? Because if you go outside of Atlanta, isn't it a little bit cheaper? Huh. Experiment. Cradle pharmaceuticals. So we gotta keep Jada tough luck, New York. <laughs> That's right, broken. You keep Jada there. Keep her safe. Uh, I said, I don't think it's that much cheaper at all. Well, dang. It's, I mean, to be fair, everything's gone up. So, it's just unfortunate. No matter where you go, it's going to be really expensive. Because I think gas is going back up again. I was so sad. Like, I had gotten gas last weekend. And I went to work Friday morning. And gas was like 4... 30-something. And then by the time I got home... It was already like four seventy something, and then like the next day it was over five dollars. I'm like, how how are you gonna change gas that many times in the in the span of twenty four hours? How? How, Sway? You're in tears? Oh gosh, Salt Scorpius, it must that was that good for you to actually be in tears? It's still three something, three something. I wish we're over five bucks here on the West Coast. Can I have the three dollars something cents gas? Those kidnapped kids. I'd be crying when I get gas when I have to get it. <laughs> Paying over eighty bucks for gas. Was I working that case? Huh? Wait, under this bed. The hole's gone? No, maybe it was a different room. There's gotta be a ton of rooms on this boat that look just like this one. Hey, uh, what exactly do you remember? Maybe you could stop talking like a crazy person and tell me what's going on here. Well, it's not like I really remember everything. I've only got bits and pieces, and they're scattered and don't make much sense. I don't care. Tell me the bits and pieces, then. Yeah, we'll help okay. you put it together. From what I can remember, I think I was... Here's some free gas. <laughs> Thank you, Broken. A cop. A cop? What? He was a cop. Yeah. I was looking for that group of kids that got kidnapped nine years ago. You remember that, right? It was all over the news. 
Yeah, I, I was still in school. I don't remember all the details, but I do remember some of it. I think it was a bunch of kids right around my age. They all just disappeared. Sixteen Nobody boys and girls disappeared. It was all over TV and the newspapers every day. So you're saying you were investigating it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I guess I found something. Oh? There was this medical company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals that had something to do with those kids. After I figured that out, I managed to get some information out of somebody who worked for them. Uh, so, Tell Scarf, you said watching the anime makes the game that much, uh, much better for you too, for in terms of playing. So the, there is a lot, there's a lot of correlation with the story of the game and the and the anime going on. Cause I know sometimes with games they like <gasps> change the story a little bit, but it sounds like it's kind of like on par with this the game. Is that correct? So the hype died for me because the game didn't work on PS4. <gasps> oh, excuse me. When you got your PS5 that you forgot. It. So, um, did you have to repay for it again if you bought it originally on the PS4? And then if you got your PS5, like, I don't, I feel like that was a thing too. Like, if you bought it on the, on the other system, you had to like repay for it again. Is that true or am I, am I misunderstanding? <laughs> I think it was... Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Yeah, that had to be it. So I never got it, but I don't think you have to be paid. Okay. No, yeah, I think they finally abandoned the last gen. The game works in PS5, and PC, and Xbox Series X. That's why I went to the wharf. From the shadows, I searched the harbor until I found the ship he was talking about. Are those the kids in the bags? There was a bunch of movement here. Men in black suits, many of them carrying large bags. Here come the men in black. It's the MIB. What? It's there was the something MIB. about the way they moved as they were carried. No doubt about it. There were human beings in those bags. Okay, like this guy, he's carrying like actual kids. These, th these two. But the way these two like are carrying this quote-unquote child they're treating like they are no longer alive so why are they carrying them this child like this so the anime and the game um the only thing they have in common are the same world and same characters oh, okay i moved before i realized it i came out of hiding my gun already in my hand don't move i felt metal touch the back of my head drop the gun so um, so Jada, we, initially the, the way this game starts is there's nine of us that were kidnapped from our homes, placed on this gigantic boat that's supposed to be either similar to the Titanic or some type of replica of the Titanic, and forced to play these puzzle games in order to, um, find a way out the boat. So we have nine hours to get off this boat or the boat's going to sink. And, um, there's kind of like different things going on in terms of like the history of what's going on on this boat. So there might be a possibility, there might be an actual like mummy living on this boat. There, the Seven, what he's talking about right now is he couldn't remember what happened prior to being abducted and put on this boat. And so part, bits and pieces of his memory is coming back. So now he's like telling us. As you can see that um, he actually was on this boat prior to this. So we all don't know, really know what's the history of this boat and why we've been brought to this boat. We like we don't know if we all played some type of role, if some part of our lives we were introduced to this boat before. Um, so that's kind of like what they're unraveling. It's not, it's kind of like all over the place. So it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on. <laughs> it's a man with bad teeth. I saw a lady with big boobs and the kids in the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, it is kind of all over the place, but, um, essentially those people are, um, the other people that we're stuck on the boat with, so we're trying to solve these puzzles to get through these different doors. As you saw, we had to use this little, we have these little wristband, um, with different numbers on each band, so we all have a number assigned to us, and we have to, 
Um, only certain, only three to five people can go through a door at a time. Um, if you break the rules, there's we have a bomb that's been placed in our bodies, and we can be blown up if we break the rules. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the the premise of the story. It's kind of all over the place. A bomb in the body. Yes. So the person who abducted us placed little bombs in our in our bodies. Um, we don't have any food. We don't have any water, so we can't like poop it out, and we can't vomit it up because it's past it's past our stomach, but it's in our intestine. So um, if we don't properly go through the doors, um, so if you you noticed at one point the the characters were putting their hands on the little sensor, and as soon as they get through the door, it has a timer that's going down. And if they don't find the other door to set the sensor off, um, then they'll explode because um, they didn't they didn't properly deactivate the bomb. I guess the the, the timer bomb thing. Um, hopefully that makes kind of sense. It's kind of like I said, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's been going on because this this game has several different endings, and so right now I'm going through like a di alternative route um, to see what kind of ending I get. The first ending, I didn't die, but we didn't get off the boat, so I'm kind of curious to see what else, um, what other endings we're gonna get. Uh, but it's pr pretty much. Some of the other clues that we found is in correlation with what he's talking about right now is there's been some type of evil experiment that's been happening on this boat. We don't know how many years ago it's happened. Because um, we've been through the laboratory where we can see that there's been like mannequins that they've been using. Um, there's different like chemicals and drugs in a, in a science room. And then right now he's talking about kids. So there's very well that they, they've been experimenting on kids on top of... So they might have used like the mannequins first to kind of... I don't know what the mannequins really are for, honestly, because the mannequins can't feel anything. But I guess to kind of practice on first and then once they actually got kids and they started using kids to experiment on. So I don't know. I don't really know what what's the real like story behind this. I just know that... The main point is we're trying to get off the boat, but there's bits and pieces of the story unraveling as we get further into the game. So I'm sorry that's really confusing, but that's the best way I can explain it to you. Ah, uh, let's see. So drop the gun. I kept digging the cold metal thing into my skull. There was nothing I could do. I did what he said and laid my gun on the ground. Then suddenly. A sharp pain in my neck. A needle. A drug. Drugs. That was my last thought. My face hit cold concrete. I was out like a light after that. <sighs> I woke up on a hard floor. Damn it! Shit, my head hurts. Where am I? <laughs> the way he's posed. A small, shabby bed. A dirty sink. A toilet with no privacy. A toilet with no privacy, yet there's a privacy wall? That's kind of... I'd seen it countless times as a cop. I'm in a cell, huh? <laughs> Broken? I actually was thinking that too. I was like, mm, ah, like a light. Like a light. <laughs> Facing the toilet was a door set into the wall. It was still pretty woozy, but I made my way over to it. So how did you get those scars? I pushed and pulled on it, but... <clears throat> it won't open. Not like I expected much else. It would be dumb enough to put me in a cell and leave it unlocked. Threw myself against the door a few times, but it wouldn't budge. I knew it. I gave up and made my way back to the bed and sat down. Why were you on the floor, though? I sat there for a very, very long time. <laughs> Who knows how long. Then, I heard a faint voice. The voice was far away. I couldn't understand what it was saying. Mises in my head. I'm, watch out for the bats. Watch out, Broken. I have my little spill and cauldron. <laughs> and my little skull here. We'll put a spill on you. Oh yeah! Hocus Pocus 2! It's not out now, right? That was supposed to be out, I think. I haven't watched it yet. Has anybody watched it? 
But I could hear one. It was pretty high. Probably a little kid. Huh? I'm kind of nervous to watch it because, like, the first one seems like it was pretty done deal. Like, what else are they gonna... How are they really gonna come back to life? Because they essentially were killed in the first one. No, it was several. I hear five or six, maybe more. It's popular lawn decorations. What? Where? Where are they coming from? Pressed my ear to the wall and tried to listen through it. No, that's not it. Left. It's coming from under the bed? Under the bed. I hauled on the metal frame and flipped the thing over. And there it was. The bed had hidden an air vent under it. The hole in the wall was covered by a metal grate. I dropped flat on the floor and peered through the grate. But I knew it in my gut. This was where those voices were coming from. Hold on. Why are there kids here? But then when my inside man told me... He asked why are kids here, but you watched them take kids on a boat. So you don't think they put you on the same boat? Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Why does this person sound like us? Like the main character? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I on that ship? <sighs> it didn't matter. All I knew was I had to get to those kids. I checked out the metal grate. <laughs> Could I fit? No, you're way too big for that. I stuck my fingers in and grabbed it. And then... <sighs> yeah! How do you like that, you son of a bitch? I finally got the damn thing off. <laughs> His face. Sweat was dripping down my face. So I wiped it off and crawled inside. Lies! There's no way this teeny little vent is big enough to fit this big old broad-shouldered man. Cap! I'm calling Cap, game. <laughs> hey, what happened after that? I don't... I don't remember what happens after You got that. stuck and you passed out. That's what happened. I think I found some kind of door out of the duct. And I think I found what? some kids What? No too. way. No, no. The way that they were making the proportions look for that hole was way too small. I'm sure a raccoon could barely fit through that hole. They're lying. <sighs> Not good. Why can't- oh, Man, what happened to the kids, Seven? Stop yelling at him. He doesn't remember. Did you save them? Be nice, break his arms. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it was me. I just... I've got this feeling. I think one of the kids died. A girl, I think. Huh? <sighs> anyway, just... Please don't ask me anymore. Yeah, he okay? barely remembered. Leave him alone. I really don't remember anything else. It's fine. Don't push yourself. Going by what he said... The children who had been kidnapped nine years before? Apparently, a company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals had been behind it all. They'd taken the children to the same ship we're on now. They'd been brought here for an experiment. Seven said it had something to do with controlling human beings. Yeah. The 16 children who had been kidnapped were the subjects. But didn't she say only nine of them were on there? Seven had said three of their names were Aoi, Light, and Nona. I think that's all I got. Oh, and, and Seven is, or was at some point, a cop. Why aren't you a cop anymore? I can't really use any of this information anyway. Boy bands recruiting? Ah, I don't know about that one. They're killing people. I didn't learn anything about the Nonary game or Zero. Why were we brought to the same ship where they'd done those experiments nine years ago? Were you guys the kids? I mean, outside of Seven. And just what the heck is this about controlling human beings? I feel like there's somebody on this ship has to probably be one of these kids that was experimented on. Including the, the mastery person behind the game. That's nuts. Did they really conduct an experiment like that? I don't have time to just stand here thinking. I need to get moving. Okay, so if we click underneath this bed, is there going to be a vent? This bed is really dirty. No. I guess not. 
Um, let's go back to this one and put the little tile in there. See if that does anything. Is the drain clogged? It looks like a lot of water isn't draining out the sink. So this isn't gonna do anything, I guess. What is this tile for? He's gonna keep telling me he can't see because I don't have a light. Which honestly, that's enough light for me to see. I don't know about y'all. These tiles were found in the tiles here are the same size. When I touched the tiles on the door, I felt something weird. Huh? I can move these tiles. That the net means. Only kids that can't dance get murked. Oh no, broken. <laughs> Maybe he swapped the tiles. We got the tiles on the wall. Something will happen. I suppose now we need to figure out what the strange designs on these tiles mean. Hmm. At any rate, we should look for all the tiles that are the same size. You're right. Let's meet back here after we have done a thorough search. So you're telling me we don't have all the tiles? Um, emergency does make sense, broken, but apparently we're missing some tiles. So, we gotta figure something else out. Looks like the water bubbled up through the drain and pushed the tile out. So now what? Can I put the nasty crusty towel in here? Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. We gotta be able to do something. Re-emergence? Well, hopefully we find some other tiles that... Because it keeps telling me that we don't have enough clues yet. So let's try it. It's trying to show water flowing from the river and gathering in the spring. What are you going on about? Maybe you ought to explain. Forget about the puzzle we have already solved. We need to look at for new ones. Okay. Can I put this towel on there? No. I don't know what the moon... It's just like the sun symbol we saw in the dark room. Yeah, that's right. There was some kind of number hint there, too. I think the number is how many times we took... <laughs> now! <laughs> no. It's gotta be how many times we flushed. So... Tell him he's too dumb to understand. <laughs> the only you can manipulate... It's a string. Chances are they made this a puzzle so it wouldn't be triggered by it by accident. Did that do anything? Pretty old school toilet. Guess that makes sense though. This ship seems pretty old too. I guess I should keep pulling on this thing until... Alright, here you go. Second pull. Third pull. Fourth pool. Aha! Something unlocked! Is that like a compass rose? Um, apparently it's supposed to be like a sun. Did you hear something? I did, but it doesn't look like anything happened here. Huh. I wonder what that sound was. So we did figure out that clue. Something unlocked. But what? I totally heard something unlock. Uh, unless it's the... The whatchamacallit. It must be the drawer in the room that I can't open. Nope, not that one. This one. The drawer does open. I wonder if it, this is part of a puzzle. What? What? Unlocked. Something unlocked. I heard it. What unlocked? Seven to be twice about touching it. Yeah, something unlocked. I heard it. Yeah. 
I thought of that. I tried a couple of things, but yeah, same result. Guess everyone wasn't about to do anything at all. I totally heard something unlocked. But I have no clue where said lock went to. Uh, I guess we just need to go to the other toilet and see if that does anything. Um, they probably made it so someone wouldn't trigger by accident in that case. Hole number one. Two. That sound again. It happens whenever I pull the string a couple of times. Junpei, did you hear something from the other room? The other room? You mean the, from the dark room? Okay, so now that drawer is finally unlocked? Yeah? Because I had to do it to both toilets? Aha! There we go. Well, this drawer opens easily enough. Alright. Are all these tiles the same? There's a bunch of weird lines on this tile thing. I don't get it. I don't think I can figure this out on my own. Yeah, why do we still have these drawers too? Alright. Uh... So, let's go back. I think we can finally go over to the tiles because we have all the tiles now. Emergence, huh? What? Are you telling me I can't do anything with this yet? Looks like we should use these tiles here. But there's still rooms that haven't been checked yet. I'll come back. What? What else am I missing? Are you telling me there's more tiles to be thought of? What the heck -a -rooney? Do I need to flush this toilet too? Uh, now I can pull on it. Huh? Doesn't matter how many times I pull on there's no flush. I kind of feel like an idiot. I wasted a bunch of time because I was determined to flush a toilet. Do I need to open it first? Uh, 14 equals E. That, that's not helpful right now. And we need to somehow get light shining on this toilet. We don't need the light ray. So you're telling me I don't need that hit anymore, but yet it's too dark in here. So what do you want me to do about it, game? You want me to use this for something. Hmm. So this is where it gets you a little bit. You're like, I think you got everything figured out and then... Boom. The game's like, no, not yet. Um, I can't combine anything. There's still this, oops. There's still this piece on the back of this thing here that I'm not sure what it's for. I opened this drawer. <laughs> There's water in both of these. And I can't do anything about yet. Is it draining clogged? Looks like there's a lot of water that's draining out of the sink. 
Can I not put that piece there? It let me click on it. Now this one doesn't let me click on it. Huh. I don't know. I'm getting stuck. Um, what else can we do? We can't turn this water on anymore. We've already... There's a partition here. Maybe it's for privacy. Partition closes off part of the bathroom. Yes. Does that mean anything, though? Or are you just gonna keep telling me it's for privacy? Is there anything else that I'm missing here? Anything discussing the toilet? We already figured out that clue. We already got this part. I don't think you can flush the toilet anymore. I'm stumped. This chair is pretty old. The seven sat on it, it'd probably break. Huh? You say something? This game has misunderstood pie time or party time. <laughs> uh, nothing at all. So, can't use that chair. The game's telling me I still have pieces and rooms to explore, but what rooms need to be explored if I can only go through certain rooms? Looks like a lot of water isn't draining out the sink. So what do you want me to do about it, game? Do you want me to put this towel in there? This drawer. The sink's filling up with water. Um, this wall is supposed to be some type of partition. What do you think? They, what, what do you think this is? Privacy is important for those things. Well, it's not like you're going to use it, Lotus. At least the guards couldn't watch you drop a loaf. Heck, it's better than totally be exposed, right? Um, okay. So that was useless information. Is there anything on this toilet paper? Besides our character complaining that it's half used toilet paper? Nothing there. Am I missing something? Is there a room I haven't looked at yet? The door in the back won't open. And it won't let me explore this room. No! How is there not... What rooms have I not explored? I feel like I explored all the rooms. Game, don't don't mess with me like this. There's nothing else left in here. We don't need to shine the light anymore. Nothing in this desk left. Is there anything in our clues that we are missing? I still haven't used this drawer for anything, but I feel like what I need to use is behind that door. A towel with the river and spring on. I don't think I need it need it here. Have you taken a close look at this, Junpei? I noticed that three red lines here are actually on top of the other lines. The red lines? Yes. Hmm, the tile with the three colored lines is... Three colored lines on it, right? Jinpei, did you notice this? The red lines. Don't they look like the form of a 14? Yes, I noticed that. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. So... I noticed that when I picked these up before they say 14, but what does that mean? Is 
Does that mean anything? I can't combine these. Absolutely not. I'm stumped. There's nothing I can do right now. I'm just trying everything. <laughs> um... I get that it says 14, but I don't get what the 14... What am I supposed to do with that? 14 equals E. That's all I know. Like, I'm sure it, it it's relation to... Um, those tiles, but the game is saying I'm still missing tiles, which that's kind of annoying because I feel like I have all the tiles. Totally won't flush when you pull this tree. So what do I need to do? This is the only toilet I can't flush it. <laughs> that's what it says on the tile. Well, more or less. See, the 14 on the tile is... Well, it's an E, right? Yes? Question mark? You think it means East? Broken? Because I have no idea what this is supposed to mean. Because I thought they were just talking about these tiles are in relation to the tiles that are on the door. Like, because the 14 means E, so I'm wondering if I had to take all the E tiles off, but I'm missing some tiles. And I don't know how to get this light on this stinking sink. Because it keeps telling me I don't need this clue anymore. And it won't let me shine light on it anymore. Time for bed. See ya, uh, see ya around. Bye! Bye, Sasquopius! Have a good night. Thank you so much for coming on. Bye! Uh, get some good rest and you know we'll see you around. Ah, uh, I'm stumped. What is this drawers? Anything with this stool? Simple chair over where the light doesn't shine. Did the sun look directional, but I don't know the lore. So I thought the sun was just um, in relation to the, those numbers that we found, so that we can figure out how many times to pull the flush the toilet. What is this chair? It's a really old chair. Nothing. One of these beds has to have something. Got a single bear, bear, blanket, and that's it. So, it's still a terrible bed. I don't even sleep on a bed that looks like that. Okay, Lotus, no one asked you. We just want to... Anything to click on. So you're out of the loop? Broken I am too. I feel like we've... Solved just about all the clues in here, but there's something I'm still missing. Like, especially with the stuff on the on the mirrors. That is really dirty. It won't let me click underneath the bed. Hmm. This place is too dirty for me. <laughs> Same. Too many gross things in here. And I keep wanting to use like the towel or put the tiles back in here, but that, the, clearly the tiles aren't supposed to go back in there. And I don't know what to do with this crusty, dusty towel. Can I take anything off? Can I... let's see, this drawer. The reflection was for the... 
the light, but it keeps telling me I don't have enough light in that room to do anything with it, so... She flipped the drawer, there's a mirror on the back of it. Yes, we know that. And this drawer has a bump on it. Maybe some kind of a switch somewhere that bumps it. That these bumps fit seems a little far-fetched, though. Ooh. What the heck? Am I like, totally missing it? Like, am I zooming past some type of switch anywhere? We don't need that clue anymore. I don't see any switches anywhere. Hmm. I hate being stumped because it makes me feel dumb. Like I was doing so well and then you get stuck. I feel like it's gonna hit me and it's gonna be like, oh that was that was it, that was the answer. And I'm gonna feel so dumb. There's still rooms that I haven't been checked yet, and still won't let me check these rooms. So one, two, three. So I, I, I'm missing a fourth tile, um, is what I'm guessing, because it wants me to take the E's out, and I can't do that without a fourth yeah, tile. Yeah. But we can't get the fourth tile for whatever reason. Yeah, it's just like more rooms to get clues, but we only have access to these three rooms. So I'm not sure what the game is getting at. We can't go through. Like, I can't click any further down here. And the only other rooms on this side, this door in the back won't open. And this door. Is there a secret door? There's a bulge in the wall! What is this? What does that mean? Hello, game. Don't tell me this is a secret wall that I've been missing this whole time. Why would it let me click on this if I if I can't do anything with it? What does that mean? Why can't I click on this bullet? It's the ceiling. M, R, G, and C without the E's. I guess that doesn't really make any sense. Man, it got me all excited because I thought I could click on this. I wonder if it's sealing us in. I've seen a lot of sins in my lifetime. I'd say this one rates about 3, 3.5. I got all excited. I thought that was something else, something different, but I guess not. What is this bulge? It's something else I can click on? What about down here? Gah! What are you missing? He keeps complaining about there's no light shine on this sink that I can clearly see. And we need to somehow... The mirror was probably put here to reflect what's opposite from it. Yes. Oh! Oops. Don't need that clue anymore. We already got... I feel like we've got all the clues, but the game is like, no. Tell the river and spring on. I don't think I need it here. Where do you need this clue for? Oh. Oh. Uh, maybe I have something in my file that I'm missing. Nope. Oh. Hover's note. Oh. Nope. 
I didn't pick up any special notes this time. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Think, think, think. What are we missing? Old rescue desk. There's just nothing in that drawer. Wavy line over the sink. Which we already got the, the tile out of here, so there's no more clues in here. Bed with a pillow on it. Without a pillow, I mean. There's nothing else I can click. Nothing suspicious about the toilet paper. I can't look in the toilet anymore. Very old toilet. I can't flush the toilet anymore. I can't click on anything. Ugh! Can't see anything in this desk. I don't know what this game wants me to do, because I feel like we've looked around everywhere. But the game is saying otherwise. We have to somehow my guess is somehow we need to get the sink to fill up on the last room, but I have no light source at all because the the Main character keeps complaining about it being too dark, but I have no way to turn on any lights. Uh, can't flush the toilet anymore. I already got the screwdriver that came out of here. Plate doesn't flush. Cheat! <laughs> I can't bring myself to do that, but if somebody else wants to look it up, I don't feel as bad. Mirror is probably put the reflect. Because if you look it up, Jada, then it's like, you're assisting me. I'm not actually looking up the answer. I feel like it's gonna be something really dumb. Sink is full of water. Blah, blah, blah. This crusty, smusty towel doesn't do anything. Can I put the towel, like, on the toilet? Does that do anything? Oops, I didn't do that. Put the towel back. The towel is vile. A surprisingly lotus refuses to go anywhere near it. Okay. Is that mini thing with a towel on there? Okay, no. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Can I put the towel on this nasty toilet? No. Uh, it's called the nonary game. And that didn't do anything either. For some reason we can't get this toilet to flush. And it's too dark in here. Boo! I feel like this game is lying to me. Is this a glitch? Can I not really move these tiles? 
There's a bulge in the wall that has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. The door won't open. Door that I handle this door. Does this open this door? Nope. Nope. Uh, so before I get any uh, further, get the toilet paper. Luminol bucket and mop from the left hand bathroom stall. There's a mop and bucket. Damn, you hit the spot. Taste like oh, candy. Ooh. Sweet like fruit. Ooh. Wet like water. Can I love on you? Thank you so much for the hydrate. Welcome on in old school. Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. How's your day been? How's your week been? Thank you for the hydrate. I didn't eat that. Um, I'm doing well. How are you? Oh. And Jada, I don't remember seeing a uh, a bucket from the left hand bathroom stall. There's supposed to be a bucket in here. Am I totally missing that? Or is this the shower room? There is no shower room. Oh. Um, is my game glitched? Is there supposed to be a bucket? <laughs> what room is this? So we went through door number two. <laughs> and... I don't know exactly what area we're in, but... Um, so what y'all playing? Just came back from a barbecue. Ooh, how was the barbecue? And uh, this is called the Nonary Game. It's old school. It's a puzzle game where you have to... There's nine of us on the ship. Uh, we're kidnapped from our homes. We have nine hours to get off the ship. Or else we're going to drown. <laughs> and right now I'm stuck on a puzzle. And can't seem to figure it out. But how was your barbecue? Oh. Um, where is my map? Oh. So we're in like the confinement area behind door number two. It doesn't tell me exactly like where that is on the map. Because it, I don't, it, yeah, it's just not telling me where we're at on the map. Um, this is what I'm looking at. So these are all the options for me to go. Confinement room, front hallway. So I'm, we're in the confinement room, if that helps, Jada. It was good, you ate too much? Ugh. Well, I mean, it happens. <laughs> Did you have, like, what'd you eat? Like, what, what was the barbecue spread? Was that ribs, chicken, beans, potato salad, macaroni salad, mac and cheese, greens? What you got? What you got? I need to know. Yeah, there's no bucket or mop up in. in uh, I feel like we would have seen that at some point. Get a bucket and a mop. I'm talking mop. I'm gonna be so mad if it's something super easy. Check the sink. Yes, uh, I checked the sink already. I checked both of these sinks. He won't look at the last sink. Um, because he keeps claiming it's too dark. And I don't know how to make it lighter in there because we don't have any type of flashlight. The water bubbled up through the drain and pushed it out. Because I think that's where we got the tiles from, from both of these. I'm clicking the mess at these sinks. 
the only sink, and I, I feel like it's gotta be the last sink um, that we need the tile from, but like I said, he keeps complaining that it's too dark in there, and I don't know... He won't let me reflect any light on it. It's a sink, but there's no light shining on it, so that's why he keeps complaining, that there's no light. I don't have an actual light to shine on it. Shine bright, shine far, be a star, where you live, where you are, be a star. Go into this doll? Am I in the right room? I need to find something to flush out the sink. Look at the toilet paper. Uh, he won't look at it because it's too dark. He can see it's white toilet paper, but he won't do anything about it. Why won't you pick this toilet paper up? Maybe I need to go back to the other bathroom with the other toilet paper. Half these toilet paper. It's old. It's kind of grossing me out, but nothing suspicious about it. Why won't you pick the toilet paper up? Can I get closer to the toilet? He like won't even pick it up. Pick the toilet paper up! <laughs> Those are the only two rooms with toilet paper, because the other one we uh, took the toilet paper off already. And he keeps complaining that I can't pick this toilet paper up either. Boo! <laughs> and I thought using this crusty dusty towel, there's supposed to be something near the toilet paper. So... Are we thinking my game is glitched? Then... <laughs> Because there is nothing near this toilet paper. Like, at all. Oop, go back. Yeah, I see nothing at all. Check the sink, there's something in the drain. We need to flush it out. There's a strange drawing of a whirlpool. Go back on screen, touch this. Touch the wall on the right of the open bath stall. So go back to the middle room. I need to flush it out. There's something strange on the drawing of the whirlpool. Go back one screen, touch the small wall on the right. And... Touch the tele... Touch the toilet paper tube to find... Oh, I already did the toilet paper tube part though. That was the screwdriver. <laughs> like this part? This was where the screwdriver was at. It's really annoying that, like, we have this towel. Oh! The drawing on the mirror is just, like, part of the image of the towel. The towel's a river and a spring, is it? The mirror has a river on it. It's indicating the sink, then... Then what? No! Don't stop there! Let me know! 
The symbol is telling us to make the water flow from this side. But we already did that. So no, that's not a new clue. Because it already did that. Ooh, I was excited. I thought... <laughs> I thought I was getting something new. Did you see you'll see a sign that been left a chance? It means that something... Turn right, there's a small desk. Touch it. The screws in it. Yep, I did that. Second, the door. This time, check around the sink and the drying of the water. Seems to be flowing. Uh, check the bed. You'll find a towel. Exit and check the bedroom stall. Lift the seat to find the moon. Yep, we did that. Exit the stall. Turn left. Turn it. Uh, another desk. Check the drawer and do it. And get center room drawer. Uh, we did that. Check the stall. We find 14. There's also s some string plus that doesn't work on the top of the uh, left. Exit the screen. You can see two mirrors. If you examine the drawer closely, it has a mirror at the bottom. Yep, we did that. We did the code. Nope, we did that. Okay. And we already filled the sink with water. So those two sinks are already full. Why is the sink not working? What can we do to get the sink to work? Cause that's what that's got to be where our last tile is at. Play more flesh. Um. So we, we, yep, I did those. I did that clue there, Jada, with the the sun and the moon. Front hallway, second door again. Combine room two. Check the stall, put this, pull the string. Yep, I did that. Uh, get the knob, use the knob on the faucet, touch the water, turn the water on, exit screen, turn left, check the desk, use the drawer on the desk. Um, use the drawer on the desk, open the drawer again to find a towel, exit the hallway. Okay, I think we did all that. Pretty sure we did all that. And did that. So we, we got that tile as well. Back to the deck and confine room three, turn right, check the desk. You can see finally open the drawer. And I did I did that. Exit. Okay. Time to exit. Touch the right. Turn right. Touch the door on the right. I should have four uh, four tiles. You should have. But I don't have a fourth tile. What a what did I miss then? So that's what I figured. I need the four tiles. But where is this fourth tile that I'm missing? Second, that's why I'm like, did my game glitch and it didn't give me my last tile, or did I somehow miss this last clue? Should be fine. Find room three, room three, check the star. Let's see it's 14 e There's also something on the on the string that to flush that doesn't work on the top left. Exit the screen. You should see two mirrors. If you examine the door closely in the mirror, bottom uses the da, which I did that. 
check the stall for the stream sometimes we did that we turn on the faucet exit screen turn left to the desk see the desk on the door open the door again to find a towel exit the hallway which we did that And check the sink again, you'll find the tiles and we did that. What the heck did I do wrong then? I feel like I did all of that and it's still telling me that I'm missing something. This is so crazy because I feel like I did all of that and it's still saying I'm short a tile. Oh! Finally? Oh my gosh. That's so dumb. Okay, now we got everything we need. <laughs> I was like, I know I ain't tripping. I know we did all most of this stuff. Okay. Thank you for helping, Jada. <laughs> wow, it looks like we investigated all the rooms. The only mystery left is that door. I told y'all it was gonna be something really dumb that I missed. <laughs> All right, let's crack the mystery, dude. We got four tiles. And there's a bunch of tiles that are the same size up on the wall there. So if we place four of the tiles on the wall with the ones on the... With the ones we've got, the door should open. Well, there's only one way to find out. So we're gonna replace all the E's. Hey, did you hear something unlock? Does that mean we got it right? Yes, looks like we did. The 14 hidden on the tile. If you convert the hexadecimal, it's an E. Basically, it's an emergence as in the 14s from the tiles. So if we place it, it gives us the answer. Do we really care why it worked? Let's just get out of here. For real. Yes, let's go. Oh my gosh, that was unnecessarily longer than it needed to be. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I, like, I like knew I needed something to do with that stupid drawer, but, like, but didn't think about putting it back in one of the, the little cabinet oh, things. What the hell is this place? Oh, this room is really creepy. I think we ought to get the hell out of here now. <laughs> Figures. It's locked, isn't it? We're locked up. Yep. I don't know let why I thought out. this would be any different. So, what is this room for, anyway? Um... Well, there's a chair in the center of the room. Oh, looks uncomfortable, to say the least. I'd rather not sit in it if I can avoid it. Looks like it's placed over some kind of glass panel. Too dark to look through it, though. This isn't dried blood on the tablecloth, is it? Probably. Oh, what the hell is this? So I like the animation style, it feels nostalgic. Well, it's, this game did come out on the... the DS, originally. What are these tools for? Yep, that's that's the other name um, of the game, too. So, I guess when it got re... I don't know if it was remastered or, or like redone, they called it the Donnery Games, but the original name of this game is called 999 or 9... Person signed doors, nine hours, or some combination of the of that. Steam ported, yeah, because this it originally was on the DS, but now it's available on Steam and on PS4, I think too. That's not something I even want to think about. No doubt about it, this room's dangerous. You said 999 is the British 911? Wow. 
Let's make our search quick so we can solve the puzzle and get the hell out of here. Come on. Seek a way out. I don't remember which country it is, but isn't um there's a country that has their 911 is actually like 119. Oh, it's Japan. Okay. <laughs> All right, got this camera. A really creepy chair. The manacles make me think it was used to torture people. What was that? Well, we can't open these manacles without a key. Hmm, there's some sort of weird symbol on them. What kind of symbol? Well, if I got this right, I think it's the sun symbol. Where did I see that at? Alright, we got some levers. Red, yellow. I think those colors mean something. No idea. I mean, red looks like more dangerous than the other. But other than that, the bottom one looks like it's covered in rust. I don't think it can move at all. There's a bunch of buttons with letters A through F on them. I wonder if they do anything. Down you go! So if I press it again, back you come. I guess these buttons switch something on or off when you push them. The needle in the gauge is zero. It doesn't look like it's going to move. Alright. There are a ton of knobs here. Doesn't seem like any of them do anything, though. <laughs> do you think it's broken? So luckily for me, uh, Japan is safe so I can sleep in the park. Oh, no! <laughs> That's cold, wouldn't it be? Not saying I've done that before, mmm. Jaina, out here sleeping in the parks. What's wrong, Junpei? What are you doing on the floor? Well... I thought maybe if I got down here, I could see through the glass. It's not working, though. You don't think it's just a large sheet of glass they put on indentation? I don't know. I mean, why would they do that? And the placement of the chair. You're not making sense, Junpei. What's your point? I'm not sure, but don't you think there's something under the glass? Well, hypothetically, Jada, if you did sleep out in the park, were you cold? And hypothetically, <laughs> was it during like summer or hopefully not in the winter? I mean, not in the summer. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, I feel like it'd be really cold. She was out in the... Like, it made me spring? Hopefully not when it's raining. Uh, let's see, we got a... A what? An A's? And a hammer. A pair of forceps. And... These other things are too old and broken. I have no idea what they are. Hey. Doesn't this wrench look like... Way too new to be here with this other stuff? Yes, it does. I didn't notice it before you mentioned it, but... It's not rusty at all. A wrench. A wrench looks like it's brand new. Considering where we found it, I have to wonder if it's been used. Knock it off. I don't want to think about that. You've already seen plenty of things that are a lot more cruel than that. Heh. <laughs> You're unexpectedly sensitive. Come on, let's not talk about that stuff. That doesn't matter, okay? We need to find somewhere where we can use this thing. I don't think there's anything else we need. So can we go set a messy stairs and lead to the door we came through? What? You wanna go back, Junpei? I wish solving this puzzle weren't that easy. Alright, so that's all the space we got. This tank thing is connected to the pipes. This looks like it's supposed to split a pipe or something, you know? But one just connects a pair of pipes. You could have done the same thing with more pipe. 
It doesn't really seem like they need it here. I wonder if there's a reason for it. Cover bolted on the bolted on there pretty good. Should be able to get these bolts off with the wrench we just found though. Oh, okay, just like that. Sweet, it's open. The hole's too small. You can't see in even with the cover off. Well, you can't see in, but I think there's enough room to stick your arm in. Are you sure you want to do that? There could be something dangerous in there. Okay, I admit that scares me a little, but we need to see if there's anything useful in there. Alright. YOLO. Up in this hole we go. Alright, here we go. Arm in the hole. Hey, I think I can feel something. It's small, cold, and hard. It doesn't feel like there's anything else in here. Alright, let's see what this thing is. A key! Alright, is that it? Nothing else. These stairs go to an exit. Of course, the entrance is locked. No point of going back. Alright. I was just checking all my options here. Guess we can't force this thing open. Figures. If it was that easy, we wouldn't have to. T having this tough of a time. Well, isn't it? So why don't we have our tough of time of it and figure out the way to open the door? This is just about these lights. So it's all about this control panel thing that we got going on here. Uh, what's this? We got some... There's something on the screen. This device will conduct the experiment. Once the experiment has been completed, the door will unlock. First, adjust the switches to match the blocks in the sample above. Huh? I don't know what this thing is, but we gotta figure out this puzzle. It's right next to the torture chair. Whatever it is, I don't think it's good. Anyway, we just need to adjust the switches to match up the blocks on the right. Top right. If you adjust the switches shown at the four corners of the screen, then press the check button. Junpei, we don't know what this thing does. You can always come back to it later. There are lots of other things you could do. Oh! Uh... Oh. Whenever you turn one of these switches, more blocks show up on the screen. So I think you gotta figure out which buttons you have to press in order to get this screen to match the diagram. Yeah, but it's hard to figure out what this button does. What, what button does what? If you want to see how many blocks each switch adds, just turn on the switch. When, you have, when all of them are on, there aren't any blocks, right? Then you can see how many each switch adds. But yeah, I get it. No, I don't. What do you mean? <laughs> so we just gonna click buttons? Let's see what happens. What did that do? Did that do anything? Oh. Each switch has a different but once you add you have to do a couple additional problems. Turn the switch on and count its blocks and do that for every switch. Super easy. Is it? Cause like, is this the switches he's talking about? Of course they would. All they do is turn something on or off. But it's important is what, what they turn on and off. Don't say the floor is going to suddenly open up. Oh, we're gonna not pull a lever and not do anything. Give me that. You ain't man enough. Sure, pal. You give it a shot. Let's see how much more of a man you are. Ugh. Hey! You're going to break it. <sighs> man! That thing ain't going anywhere. I can see some oil or something down there at the base of the lever. Yeah, it feels like it's got some movement to it, but I should be able to pull this one. Alright, let's pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk! Is that... water? What the heck? What's going on? Will you calm down? It's just water going somewhere. It sounds like it's underneath us. That means the floor... Oh. Junpei, look! What's she... Oh, snap! I can see through the glass now! Can we? Oh. Oh! It's a shark? 
Oh, poor shark. E D B F. E D B F. There are a couple letters on uh, a couple letters in the color of blood written on the shark's belly. It's dead. Looks like the letters are for E D B and F. Whatever those are. What are those are for? It has to be in this room somewhere. So that stop. I didn't want to click on that again. Um clearly it's for this, but what does this mean? Did that do anything? Each letter does a so turn all this stuff on. Hmm. I'm assuming each they're saying each of these does something. Adjust the switches to match the blocks on top, then press the check button. What? So this, do those letters have nothing to do with these blocks? Okay, I don't think this is a whole different clue. I mean, um, uh, what should we call it? <laughs> I think that's a whole different different hint I got going on here. So let's just click this E, D, B, and F, and go. What? There's a strange noise coming from that chair. It looks like it's been turned on. I guess the puzzle here was that power that had to be sent into this in a specific way. All right, the chair is on now. Sun key should fit into the keyhole on this manacles. All right, the sun key, in you go. And yes, great, they're open. I don't think we're, we're gonna need the sun key here again. It just seems unlikely. All right, sun key, you've done your job. Into your pocket, into my pocket you go. But now what? Well, they're open. What are you gonna do now? Let's just look around some more. I got a feeling that something will happen. Right. We should try to figure out what the device over there in the corner is for at any rate. Okay, so the last clue is this. Just the switches to match the blocks on top. And then press the check button. So... These have to match somehow? Hmm, that was close. Is it gonna tell me I gotta do some like negative things? Like do negative math? What's the hint? What? Uh, I don't even know what I did, but sure. <laughs> Adjustment is complete. Now proceeding to ex execution phase. To complete the experiment, data must be collected from the subject. Once preparation is finished, place subject in chair. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought we solved the puzzle already. What does it mean by preparation? I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. I think it means one of us has to sit in the chair. Well, Seven's never going to fit in that thing. Either you or me, Junpei. Collecting data, I wonder if it's going to run electricity through the subject. There's a human head on the screen, maybe it's going to zap the brain with a little electricity. This really doesn't sound safe. But anyway, we've still got to prepare. We can talk about this after we figure out what it means by preparation, alright? Well... It wants us to prepare, so we might have. Maybe we ought to ask if we. If. Uh, it. What we need to do. The restraining. But the training device is unlocked. Please seat the subject and device. Well, like we thought, it's not going to work unless someone sits in it. It's a torture device. How ironic that this would be the situation in which this slim, beautiful body is useful. 
Lotus, are you sure? I can sit in it and you can solve. Junpei's right. If we screw it up. Uh. I'll be fine. Even if I fall in, the shark is already dead. But... No one likes an indecisive man, Junpei. I can still give you advice from the chair, too, you know. I just don't want to stay in this room any longer than we have to. Go. Oh, I cut her off on accident. Uh, uh. Look, do you think you could do me one last favor? What? Uh, don't say last. You're making me nervous. Just listen. If something happens to me, I want you to tell my daughters. Your daughters? Tell them that I loved them very much. No, tell them that I will always love them. And I will always love you. Daughters? <laughs> you, you've got kids? Yes, I do. I suppose they're about your age, Junpei. How old are you? They're twins. I had them when I was young after... Well, some things happened. Their names are Nona and... <gasps> the experimental kids! Wait! Nona? Aoi, Light, Light, and Nona. Nona. Those, Those were their were names. Well, well, some, some of them. them. The kids that were in the experiment. But what the hell? What's wrong with you? Oh, no way. It, it couldn't. Lotus, is your last name Kashiwabara? How do you know that? Oh? Are you serious? There's no way you're that kid's mom. That kid? Wait, what do you mean that kid? Does she not know her kids were adopted? Why are you acting like you've met her? I have. What? Yeah, I... I met one of your kids. When? Nine years ago. Where? On this ship. Why were you... It's not a short story. Look, I don't care how long it is. Tell me, please, what happened here? Ooh. Fine, I'll tell you. Your kids were experimented on and you're about to be experimented on now that you volunteered yourself. I'm... But... And then... That was when... From there, it looked like just as if, finally, <sighs> that's all I remember from nine years ago. Oh my god. But what happened to your kids? Everything I've been looking for. For the last nine years, the person who had all the answers was right here. Looking for? Yes, that's right. Nine years ago, my daughters disappeared. Okay, so you do know your daughters disappeared. And nine days later, they came back. They never told me what happened to them over those nine days. I took them to the doctor, but I was told they hadn't been hurt in any way. Still, I was sure that they had been through something terrible. So I couldn't bring myself to force them to talk about it. Drop them off at the pool? <laughs> Broken? If I did, then I'd force them to relive whatever horrors they'd been through. I didn't have any choice. I had to try and ignore it. Max, Good morning! Welcome on in! What's for breakfast? And did you get any good sleep? Oh. Hmm. I know, it's still keeping with that nine theme. Nine years ago, huh? A few months passed. Gradually, they started to act like they always had. Lego Four pumpkins! Books. So I gotta start acting like themselves. But they disappeared. They smiled and made jokes and did all the silly things kids do. It got harder and harder for me to ask them about what happened. How can I ask them to remember that? Eventually, I knew there was no way I could. Maybe do they it. don't remember. Hmm. Huh. But I'm still a mother. I couldn't simply forget that something terrible had happened to my children. So you didn't sleep, you just got home. Oh snap! Did you go out somewhere? So I decided I would investigate what happened on my own. I would find out what happened during those nine missing days. What did you find out? <gasps> Nothing. The police pretended to be concerned, but they didn't do anything. Once the 16 children who'd gone missing came back, things were just... Now, wait a minute. The 16 children that came back, didn't he say some of them were dead? Even the media didn't talk about what had happened. You've been out making bad decisions. Ooh, facts. Okay, okay, you don't have to dispose of the, the juicy details, but I hope your bad decisions don't catch up to you. 
I figured someone was probably paying or threatening. I'm sure you had fun, whatever bad decisions you, you decided to make. Cradle Pharmaceuticals. No, probably something even bigger than that. Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Have you heard of them before? No. It's the first time I've ever heard that name. Seven. How did you find out that Cradle Pharmaceuticals was connected to the kidnappings in the first place? Yeah, that just kind of came out of nowhere when I he was talking about it. I figured finding out whatever the victims had in common would lead me to the culprit. That's what any good cop does. What did they have in common? Every single one of the kids who disappeared had gone to this one hospital at some point. He said, I love this Halloween over here. Thank you. Glad you like it. Oh, yeah. But Bex, please take care of yourself. I don't know what decisions you have gotten yourself into, but... <laughs> I hope you had a good time. And I hope you get some good rest too, because... Staying out all night and getting to shenanigans... That catches up real quickly. The hospital was one of a bunch that were under the control of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. After that, it was just about connecting the dots. The hospital. The hospital. For a while, I was trying to get some kind of information out of the kids at the hospital. One of them told a weird story. What was it? Wait a minute, he did tell this story earlier. Have you heard about the Gansfeld experiment? I guess all these kids had to go through it while they were at the hospital. I think it was passed off as some sort of counseling. Hmm. What did you call it again? Oh, the Gansfeld experiment. Why is there no I in field? This is how it's set up. First, subjects Q and A are put into separate rooms, far away from one another. Then a series of video images are shown to subject Q, who is told to send the images to subject A by thinking about them. Subject Te A on the other hand is put in a large reclining chair and given a blindfold. With their senses cut off, A is asked to guess what images Q is looking at. Oh, yes, I've heard of that. So that me remind you... No, I'm not trying to remind you that you did something wrong. I'm just saying... Take care of yourself. <laughs> it's a famous telepathy experiment, isn't it? Hmm, telepathy. That's how the experiment on this ship was supposed to work. The experiment to control people, right? Yeah. So they're trying to make their own little, like, X-Men? I don't know if any of the telepathy stuff really exists. But maybe someone from Cradle Pharmaceuticals bought into it. <laughs> Even if that is the case, I still don't get how that has anything to do with any of this. The notary game, zero. Why we were kidnapped. Well, clearly you were brought together because you guys are somehow connected to these stories. I feel like Zero is one of these kids and he just wants you guys to figure it out and bring it to light. What does any of that have to do with telepathy? I know I brought all this up, but I have no idea. Maybe none of this stuff is connected after all. <sighs> no subject has been detected. Unless a subject is detected within 60 seconds, all power will be shut down. Uh, System recovery is estimated to take one hour. One hour! If you wish to proceed with the experiment, please seat subject in the restraining device. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, oh, no, that's not what we... Just hurry up and get it over with. Junpei, I'm counting on you. Uh, right. So am I going to accidentally fry her brain if I don't do this Lotus, right? Lotus, please, tell me right away if you feel anything weird. You worry too much. Now get on with it and be a man, or June's going to leave you. Lotus. Okay, let's do this. Uh, what? What am I supposed to do with this? What? Does that do anything over here? Okay, I did this I did this wrong. Did 
this, this, that, not that. What? So maybe I need to do two? Two. No. Am I like really gonna fry her brain if I do this wrong? What we are supposed to be doing here? What? This one, guys. I'm not really sure what this. Oh, okay. There's a hole on the side. Okay, cool. Ooh. I don't know how I figured that out, but sure. <laughs> this is where I would rage quit and uninstall all that game. There's just a lot of these. This this puzzle in particular doesn't really make that sense. I didn't quite understand what's the the puzzle in this one. I just clicked random things and like, sure, that might work. <laughs> Uh, the experiment has, experiment has concluded. The door will now unlock. Thank you for the fan, Bex. I can hear on the door unlocking, and now we've got a new message. Release subject from the training device. L Lotus, are you, are you alright? Yes, I am. I'm glad nothing bad happened, but I do think my life just got a little shorter. Hold on, I'll get you out right away. Shouldn't take long for Seven and me to get her out of here. Let's get out of here now. Being a guinea pig is not for me. I don't ever want to see this thing again. So what did that actually do to her? Is that going to mess her mind up later? And thank you for all the fan specs. Are you going to eat some breakfast before climbing to bed? Or are you just going to go... The hallway goes Straight to the, the left. Bed. Yeah, but I don't see any doors. Yes, we just need to keep going. Right. Let's go. An elevator. Just what we need. Let's take this to C deck. Just ate some Cheerios. All right, that's a, that's a doable snack before sleep. Let's go. Yeah. All right, I think this brought us back to... I know where we need to go. The door behind the central staircase. There was a sun symbol on the keyhole of that door. And I happen to have the sun key in my pocket right now. This should open that door. Uh, where Let's are we go. at with our flow chart? Hold on. Where are we at? Where are we at? <gasps> We're almost to the end of this... Uh... Up this uh, flowchart. Darn, it took us this way? Huh. Well, I guess if we. Next time we have to go through six to get through all of these. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, what? What? Oh my god! Why? Wait! <laughs> what? Uh, what the hell? What the hell happened? Clover. Nothing. She's dead. What the heck? I didn't think any of us were actually gonna die. Hey, what are you doing? The key. Get me the sun key. Why? Why do you think we have to get out of here before the murderer comes back? The, the murderer? Santa. Clover. The heck? And Ace. Three people. Three dead bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. That means that the person who had killed them was... June? Huh. No. No, it can't be true. Give it to me! Let's go! <sighs> wow. Open! Why? What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. I didn't feel it unlock. Oh, no. So, okay, I need to... Okay, Bex. Well, maybe we'll hear about your night a different night, but I hope you do get some good rest. Drink some water. And good night slash good morning. Oh no. Is it the wrong key? How's it the wrong know. key? Maybe. <gasps> it's open. What the hell is this? Wait, you mean the door was already unlocked? What? what? Why? How would I know that? <sighs> Whatever, let's just go. Ugh. <sighs> But we can't even get out with, with, uh, us three. What the hell is this door? I can't see anything that looks like a doorknob or switch or lever or card reader or, or anything. How the fuck are we supposed to open this? We don't have a choice. We're gonna have to go back. No, no, I'm not going back there. There is a murderer back there. But I don't see any other doors. Oh, it's it opens this to me. No way. It opened by itself. It's an automatic door? Look, guys, I've got a really bad feeling about all this. The other doors were already unlocked, and this one's automatic. We haven't seen anything like this before. Bad feeling. <laughs> We've hit bottom. This can't get any worse. Uh, yeah, I can. You might die. Shit! Hey, Junpei! Hello? I can't take this anymore. No one can. Uh. No. It's a lie. It, it, it's gotta be. This can't be real. No, no. It's impossible. If it's a dream, just wake up already. Someone please tell me it's all just a joke. I, I, I'm imagining things. Yep, that's it. This is all obviously a lie. No, my guy, it's, it's not. It's a big, elaborate trick. It, an illusion or something. Or, or a dream. It's made up. Ah! Ah! Connie! Oh! Connie? Is that her real name? Connie. Her government name? Connie, hang on. Uh. Connie! Jumpy? Oh, man. Connie, there's so much blood. What the hell happened to you? How did this happen? Jumpy, I'm sorry. Did you do it? I, I, I might not make it. I'm not just gonna. No, no way, no way. I am going to let you die. I am gonna save you. I promise. Save her how though? Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much oh, for everything. I know it's supposed to be really emotional, but I'm not feeling the emotion. I was really happy to see you. Jumpy, really happy. Is she gonna stab me? Don't give me that I was crap. You're gonna see me again lots more times. You, you just gotta hang on. All right, Connie? Uh. You, 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 ow, what can I do? Take her bracelet and go. Damn it! What is it, something? What's that? 
A submarine? What on earth is a submarine doing here? Th that's it! Hang on, all right? There's a submarine over there. I I'm gonna go see if it works. But that might be a trap, because he said the only way you can leave is going through the doors. No! Don't go! Please, don't go! Please, just stay with me. I want to be close to you, Jumpy. When, when I... Connie. Jumpy, did you know you meant a lot to me? When we were kids, I liked you for a long time, Junpei. A really long time. <laughs> Jumpy, do you remember how we hung out a lot when we were kids? So why did y'all stop being friends? We went to the pool and to the fair. Do you remember playing Snowball at the school? They're all memories I'll never forget. All of those moments are treasures to me. But I also wanted to go to a lot of other places with you. Okay. But, but that won't happen now. No. I mean, yes. Yes, it will happen. We'll go all sorts of places, Connie. But why did you guys stop being friends? You hear me? I promise. We'll go wherever you want. I mean, she probably can't tell us because she's dying, but... Really? Yeah, really. I swear. That makes me happy. Really happy, Jumpy. I feel s s sleepy. Oh, don't go into the light, girl. No, Connie. Don't fall asleep. Thank you. Jumpy, thank you so much. Oh. Connie! 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 Just like that, she's gone. Dang, this is the worst ending so far. Time passed. Junpei wept, curled around Connie's body. He cried and cried until he had no tears left. When the last tear fell, Junpei was no more. His body remained, but only as an empty shell. Somewhere, he heard a bell ring. It was the clock at the central staircase. Is she going to get him killed? I don't know! Broken? I thought for a second there she was going to pull an okie doke and like stab him or something, but... Nope, she, she died. It rang five times, then faded. Five o'clock. Quietly, gently, softly, he set Connie down on the floor. Slowly, Junpei left, stood. Only then did he realize that Seven and Lotus had not followed him. Where had they gone? Slowly, he looked around the room. There was nothing. No sign that they had even been there. It felt as though every part of Junpei's body was made of lead. Slowly, he made his way to the door he'd come through. As he approached it, it opened, sliding apart with a sound like grinding stone. Don't tell me they're about to be dead, too. Junpei passed through the gate and into the hallway. Oh my gosh! Come on, now! His heart rattled in his chest, an empty, lifeless thing. His, it had been so utterly broken that there was nothing left to feel. When he saw the bodies, he simply stared. It was a lake, a sea of blood. Two bodies lay in it. There was no need to check. There was no breath left in them. His eyes lit on Lotus's wrist. Her bracelet. It was gone. He stared. It meant nothing to him. He didn't care anymore. He couldn't care anymore. Junpei's body felt numb. A part of him knew the lump of his lead in his chest had once been a heart. He couldn't quite remember what it, what it had been for. Tears poured from his eyes in great streams. He wasn't sure why. He gave up trying to make them stop. He turned around. The door opened again, and slowly, numbly, he walked through it. He kept walking. Why stop? An object set in motion, sim simple inertia carried him forward. Eventually, he found himself in front of the submarine. His arm reached for the hatch. Oh! And then he was floating in water. His eyes stared down into it. 
You couldn't see the bottom. His back was hot. Dimly, he felt the blade of a knife in it. Who? One dead body lay behind door number five. The body of the ninth man. Another lay in the shower room. A body of a snake. At the central staircase were three more. Ace, Santa, and Clover. Just outside the door were two corpses. Those of Seven and Lotus. And in this very room lay the body of that had once been Canny. And now, Junpei would join them. Who then had killed them all? Who? Junpei let out a one last breath. Faintly, he felt the bubbles creep up to the side of his face. His consciousness faded quickly, dissolving away into the cold, into the lapping of the water. Dang! That's the worst ending ever! All of us died if we don't know why. Boo! Well, I guess door number two was the worst option to go through. Wow! Can I like skip past the credits? Can we get past this please? You chose six just I know broken, I know. Well, we're gonna have to go through door number six next time. So it's not gonna let me pass through these credits, so I think I have to wait until uh I get past the credits to save or else it's not gonna let me save. Post credit secrets? I don't think so. Cause I thought that last time and then end up not being anything, but maybe this time. Six could have been <laughs> could be worse. I hope not. I hope we get some answers or get one good ending out of all this. It has to be one good ending out of this whole game. Cause I think we still have two options left to get through. Come on game, speed up. Let me get to the end credits. <laughs> the events just will come after the credits. <laughs> Old school. Oh yeah. I heard that, um, Hugh Jackman, the end, or is it? Dun dun dun! Um, but yeah, Hugh Jackman's gonna be joining, uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds for Deadpool 3 as Wolverine. Did y'all hear about that? We all die by a yellow submarine. Gosh, that's awful. Awful ending. Would you like to save the information? After saving the game, we'll start from the beginning. Yes, save it, please. Access the full chart or return to the beginning to start. Alright. Um, they did some comics together, the characters. Yeah! I heard that, like... Oh, wait! There's a whole other path I missed here too. So we got a, we got a couple. How do I? Does this matter or is it just more of a gameplay? Darn it! <laughs> I need to figure out how to get to this without having to go through all this again because that's just gonna give us the awful ending. Because this is this is another door we could go through. I'm sure it's more related to the story. So we still have three different endings we have to get to. Um, for sure this is door number six, and then we get to door number six and there's like two different options we could choose from, so... I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be the good answer and what's gonna be the bad answer. Man, darn! I was hoping we were gonna get something like... I don't know. Good this time. Like I said, the first time, um... That wasn't bad. It just wasn't the conclusive answer, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I know I'll get the music to drink. <laughs> That's exactly the point. <laughs> Man. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> 
Alright guys. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. We got stuck on that stinking puzzle for so long over something really dumb. But we made it through. We got through an ending. And now we just gotta figure out the rest of them. I like okay. One of these endings we have to get out, right? Cause the first Indian I got, Santa went rogue and was holding people hostage, but it didn't really show us leaving. This ending, everybody's dead. So we gotta get something good out of this at one point. But I really do appreciate y'all for sticking around and hanging through all these shenanigans. I know it's really, it's always really long when I play these uh, visual novel games, but I feel like you kind of have to sit there and, and get through it. Or else the game just goes on forever. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna probably call it a night here, guys. Uh, we, I will be on I tomorrow. Be on not, tomorrow. Uh, not streaming, but I will be still uh, co-hosting with Khan for the rest of the tournament game. So if you guys wanna tune in for that, um, make sure to go ahead and either follow his channel and check it out there or I'm gonna try and host it on my channel as well if you want to take a peek through there uh, let's see I think he's still in the chat so there's that if you're not following Khan make sure to give him a follow because that's where, where the tournament's gonna be happening tomorrow um, I think it's 1 p.m. Eastern time let me double check Actually, I'm at the flyer right here. There we go. Ah, oh, but it has no times on it. JK. <laughs> That's not helpful. Uh, let me look it up. Let me look it up. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, so tomorrow Fall Guys Tournament starts at 1 p.m. Eastern Time or was it 12, 11, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacifica Time. So if you guys aren't, don't have much going on tomorrow for your Sunday and you want to come watch some folks get s smashed <laughs> and some Fall Guys, come and, and join that. That'll be some fun time. And also he's... We moved the Smash Bros. tournament to um, uh, to tomorrow as well. So they're going to be doing that as well. So come out, come join if you want. Um, if not, that's all. That's completely fine. I will see you guys again on um, next week. I'm going to try. I've been uh, so. If you didn't know, I had, there was that uh, VTuber table and everything I was working on. All that stuff I was working on, um, last time I did an art stream was actually for Khan's streaming event because he decided to, he wanted to come um, to the event as a VTuber. So we have all this background and table and everything that I made that took up a lot of my time doing it, which is completely fine. It was cool. It turned out pretty good. Uh, but now I can go back to focusing on getting out my videos because I have lots of I'm back a lot on my vlogs, guys. I got some vlogs for you guys to watch on my YouTube channel if you want to watch. Uh, from when I went to Anime Matsuri in, in Houston, and uh, I went to PAX West in Seattle. We went to, uh, also went to the uh, Comic Con in Portland as well. So, got a couple things for you guys to check out. And I, I'm just a little back a lot on it. So, once I get those videos ready, uh, make sure to post it on my Twitter and my Instagram and all that stuff so you guys know when and when it's coming out and when to look out for it. And yeah, then we should be getting back to some more scheduled things. I'm going to be trying to play some, of course, the scary games because it's October. And yeah, we'll get into that. Uh, let's see here. What what shall we... Shall we... Should we... Go ahead and raid somebody. Let's see what we got going on. You 
Ooh, somebody's playing Bindi in the Ink Machine. I like that game. That was a good game. Or we can go and there's people playing spooky games. Or we can also do some chill, kind of like friendly games as well. Like got some Uno being played. Actually, it's kind of a chill night. Let's do some. Let's go and raid a show light and. She's playing some Uno, so you can chill out for the night with some Uno. Uh, if you guys could stick around for the raid, that would be perfect. It helps both of us out if you can uh, stick around for that. I really do appreciate everybody for sticking around for uh, whether you stay, whether you lurked, whether you're hit or in and out. Doesn't matter to me. I always appreciate every single one of you. Uh, again, like I said, I'll be back next week um, with some more streams. Hopefully you get some more videos posted. And yeah, and I'll also be in other people's streams too if I don't see it in my own stream. But I hope you guys have a good night. Uh, stay hydrated, feed yourself, to replenish your, your food, your, your sleeps, whatever you need. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye! Give me to a follow if you guys haven't followed her yet. Super sweet. Super kind of